Oh. Hello. I'm always late, so now I'm early. What's up? Hello. I think I'm 12 minutes early. What's up, Lavinia? How you doing? Thanks for joining us. We early. We not supposed to come on to eight o'clock. So I'm just right now testing my camera. Shanna, how you doing? How about how we looking? That background is dope. How you doing? How you how we looking, Shanna? How we looking? How we looking? Oh, Jason is in. How we looking, Jason? How we looking? Hey, Howdy doody. Well, how we looking, man? We doing a test. I want to make sure my background look halfway decent, or I'm looking all right. I'm looking all right. You know what I mean? I'm looking all right. That's what I'm just here. I'm just testing my lights. I, I was trying to build the dag on. I was trying to build me a little studio room, but Zadie keep knocking shit over. Zadie like the cat. Like she the likes the, the lights. Light. So she was just literally right here before she. A second yeah. before you you turn on. Yeah, Zadie Zadie liked the like the camera. I don't. I mean, I mean, like all the lights. I got like the uh, studio lights thing. I'm trying to set up the uh, room so we can have like better presentation and stuff. You got something more to look at. Zadie be on her stuff, boy. E everything in here is hers. <laughs> everything in this entire place is hers. This is the this is the pre show. So this is the pre show, man. Before the show. <laughs> <laughs> This is the show before the show. We just we just testing. We looking good. Thanks, Jason. Jason, we looking good. I'm glad we looking good. So I got me a, a green a, a green thing. What do you call it? Green background. A green screen. And I tried to get me a background because I gotta I gotta paint to make my place look like a a certain type of a certain type of setup. You know, I'm trying to raise the bar. Like I said, 2024, I'm taking over. You know what I mean? Strap up, strap up your boots. 2024, I'm coming. You know. But yeah, it's been a how was your guys' week, man? It's been a minute last week since I hollered at y'all. How was your week, Jason? How was your week? How was your week, man? Yeah. Yeah, Jason, man, it's been a, it's been a rough one here over here, man. I, I I don't know, man. Yo, I got some. I got a uh, a person there, man, that I got to scrap with every day. This shit is hard ass work, boy. I tell you, hard ass work. So I, so Cass selected the background, you know. what I mean, and Happy Veterans Day to Shanna. Happy Veterans Day to Jason. You know, Happy Veterans Day. And the TV is loud. Yeah, well, I'm going to fix this little uh, room up to be the studio. I don't think the table thing worked. I don't think I'm uh, I'm going to go as far as. Uh... Matter of fact, Cassian, bring me my microphone, yo. It's in a box over there. Bring my dad on microphone. Let me play with my microphone while I'm early. Or is it too late? I forgot about it. I be, it's on the floor in the box. It's right where I said it was, right? Umi says, shine my light on this world. So, yeah, anyway. It was good. Yo, I'm going to try. I'm going to take a couple of minutes and try my microphone out. Take a couple of minutes here. Uh, take a couple of minutes here. I don't know how this works. I probably lose sound. It's probably the wrong time to do this, right? Let me see here. Nope. I need. I need connections. Yo, I'm about to be cold with this stuff. As soon as I figure out how to work all this shit out, I'm about to be cold. I'm about to be cold as hell. 
I ain't got the right damn connections. Yo, I ain't got the right goddamn connections, yo. Yo. Okay, do I? Yo, y'all hear me? Yo, what up? Y'all hear me? Let's see. Let me try this sound setting. Let me see if it registers. Audio. Microphone. No, nah, that shit ain't registering. Is it registering? Let me see. I'm gonna come back to that. Here, register. Microphone. Fuck it. I ain't doing it. I can't do it today. I ain't got time to be figuring shit out today. No, um, fuck it. Silverback, what up, Shanna? What up? What up? Is it time yet? I'm fine. I got five minutes to be playing with stuff. Yeah. I try to work with my microphone, but. I ain't got time to be fucking with it right now. I ain't got time to be messing with it right now. So maybe in a couple of weeks I had the full studio popping microphones and all of that. But for right now, for right now, we're just gonna we just gonna have to wing it with what we got, with what we're dealing with. You feel me? Yeah, hear me fine. Everything good. I hope I ain't messed nothing up. Everything good. Silverback, what up? Come on in. I'm just waiting for everybody to get in while I mess with my uh my gadgets. Yo, it's hit and miss with this Chinese shit. It's hit and miss. Oh yeah, man. I hope y'all's on Instagram. You see, you see my man's silent defender. Got ammo now, man. My man Jay the Shooter got his own ammo. Y'all seen that? Look like he pressing out the ammo out of the ammo machine, man. Cats got shooting all them fully autos. That shit started to burn them pockets. He had to press and start pressing his own, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see brothers, you know what I mean, getting the movement and start doing their own thing, adding on. You know, it's a beautiful thing. It's a real beautiful thing. Now, where's my drink at, man? Ah. What everybody have for dinner, man? Ah. I want some, yo, I want some Alaskan king crabs, like a mug, man. I don't even know if they in season. But, yo, I want some king crabs, like a mug. You know what I mean? Dungeness and King Crabs in the same broil. Dungeness, King Crabs, Snow Crabs, Blue Crabs, and Rock Crabs in a single broil. All different types of crab in a broil, man. Yo, that shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, take your time, man. Yeah, we got a couple of minutes left. Let's check on my guests. Make sure they got the link.
Yeah, just make sure my guests got the uh, link. Where's my number here? Got one minute. One minute. <laughs> that I'm done. So we're just going to sit here and talk, right? Cassian, it's that time. I'm on. It's that time. It's eight o'clock. So anyway, let me get to, let me get to, let me get to the juices here. This is what's up, right? We doing this gun thing, right? And the only thing I'm hearing a lot of times in this gun thing, right? Train, 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 train. Every time I hear it, I was like, yeah, yeah, train, 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 train. I see a whole lot of people going to train it, right? And they're supposed to be, every training is a real life scenario, right? And I've been talking about this shit since I first started this live. I, every live has been pretty much roundabout on the same shit. Kingdom Defense, what's up? Train, 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 train. Get, what are we training for, right? So this here is self-defense training. I'm sitting here watching Instagram, right? You know what I mean? Scrolling, scrolling. You know how to do the Instagram thing. Just scrolling, 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 scrolling up, right? So my dude, I don't, not, that's one. Bunch of dudes in the car, right? Like they're getting carjacked. They're leaning back like this, pulling out. It's like, is you real, yo? Are you real? Somebody coming up to your car to carjack you and you doing all of this. And, uh, and all of this shit. That shit is, that shit so phony, yo. That shit so phony. Just, uh, that shit is so, so phony. Yeah, Cassie, I need you to answer text. <laughs> so yo that shit's so phony cat look for him because he's he said he couldn't get to the uh the link on the email well um this like, is put the link in here okay so then just join the channel and put here cassiana because i'm talking and you, and you doing not uh something else so here's Zay Zay. So yo, do up in there, I need this as pulling as out. As Give her yours or something. As... No, here's it. Boy, keep on talking. No, So, um, um, these guys pulling out like it's real, and then we got all our friendly like neighborhood. There. Okay, I don't see him, so I'm gonna say something. I, I'm a post. Okay, just jump on the. Edit. Um, I'm drop. I'm dropping a link. Paste. Okay. Dropping a link. Just click on a link. Just click on a link to join us, and I'll let you all. I'll let you all in. So yeah, check right. We're in there, right? Dudes is pulling out. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead, go ahead, Trey. You can jump in. Just, just click that link. 
click that link. Uh, click that link. The link above above you, where you uh, commented at. Yeah, click that link, and you should be able to just. I should see you and let you in. Just click it, and it's going to say, "Hey X Y Z." So that's Tre that's Trey, fifty two blocks Empire. He's one of the guests. Check right. Let me let me help. You. Let me let me get. So dude, pulling out the daggone gun, like uh, carjacking him, right? And he shoot 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 shoot. I was like, "Is this dude is dead?" Then we got the guys that's doing self defense training. They just going through targets. They moving and shooting, moving and shooting. You know what I mean? That shit is all cool, right? But what is that? Some kind of content? What's that? Police training and shit? That that shit? The police academy? You see what I'm saying? How is that practical in real life? When you shooting, you shoot shoot. You yeah, you moving and shooting. That's police stuff. That's combat stuff, right? That shit is cool. That shit fly. That shit is dope, right? But what happens, right, in real life when somebody is as close as I am to Zadie, come over here, and, and grab your ass up? You see what I'm saying? How does that work? You know, and I never see that in training. And you're more likely to come across something like that, a zero, a zero distance contact, than all of that squat team shit. I swear to God, and a lot of people I'm figuring out shortly never been in no, uh, no type of altercation, no no physical altercation. Most of them can't even take harsh verbal harsh verbal confrontation. They can't even take harsh words. You cursed at me. You called me a a bad word. You know. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? A monologue. Everybody, this is Trey. And he from 52 Empire, 52 Blocks Empire, man. man Tell man, us man. about yourself a little bit, bro. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Trey? I'm type hearing it. Um, it's replaying. It's, it's like I'm hearing the double. Like you ask a question. Because you I'm have hearing. to cut it off on YouTube. So your window on your YouTube, cut that part off. Okay. Cut one of the windows off. You should only have one, the, one, the stream yard window open. <clears throat> okay. Now, now. I did that. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. That's how that works. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, you know, um, I, I'm a practitioner in 52 blocks. I've been mm -hmm. doing 52 blocks for about about almost five years, you know, four to five years. Um, before 52 blocks, I was um I was you know, I was in the basketball, playing basketball mm -hmm. heavy. Um, also getting into a lot of situations in the street, you know. Um, I just decided that I wanted to, you know, learn how to fight the correct way. Cause um, I always thought to myself, you know, I love fighting so much. Imagine if I get to get into a fight and I run across someone that's really capable, you know, somebody that been doing it their whole life the correct way, that really know the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. That was over for me. So um, I just decided to, you know, I wanted to learn to fight the correct way. I always, you know, knew how to grabble, you know, slam people in their head, but I wanted to get my hands right. <laughs> You know, so get my hands right. So okay. um, that's when I embarked on a journey to learn 52, you know. Um, I found Light. Light Bird, you know, that's my teacher. That's who taught me, you know, everything. He taught me the whole system. So um, I found Light, and then I just I just ran with it, you know. I just ran with it. I just tried to pass on all the knowledge he gave me. I tried to pass it on. And, you know, that's pretty much that's pretty much it, you know. So out of all, all the fighting stuff, what drew you to 52 more than anything? Um, what drew me to 52 was because you know, I always heard about 52 blocks when I was younger. You know, I just I just didn't really think it was it was real, I didn't really take it serious. So I always I always heard about it, but um what drew me to it was it was strictly you no know, defensive, you know. It was it was it was real defensive, you know. A lot of other martial arts they teach you how to you know you use your hands, they teach you how to use other parts of your body, but they ain't really focus on defense and 52 blocks is strictly a defensive art so that's what stuck out to me and also how it it he light also told me the history of it so once i found out it come from you know people like us you know melanated people uh the light bulb went up it was like okay i gotta this is something i gotta gravitate to this this is the one you know right ain't nothing wrong with you know you know karate um 
Muay Thai, all those other arts. But once I found out 52 blocks come from, you know, melanated people, you know, black boxes, it was like, oh, this is the art. You know, I'm just going to run with it. Yeah, I was in I was in Brazil back in the days running around, right? This is crazy story. This is this is crazy RML shit. Sometimes I, you know, get on my shit and tell these old school stories. So we yeah. was up, we was up in La Perla, up on the up on the hill and everything. Well, you ain't supposed to go up with Michael Jackson and I made the videos on them stairs. You go okay. up there. It's no man's land. Cops don't go up there, nobody don't go up there. That's where all you know, that's where all the brothers and sisters at. So that's guess where I was at. Up there, <laughs> facts. You gotta be there. with your people, uh huh. Yeah, so I was up there jamming. You know what I mean? Having a good time and everything. So they was out there. They they were selling cocaine, marijuana. Right. This was the deal. Mm-hmm. It was like a free. It's like a little uh courtyard, little thing. Everybody out there. Fighting. Eight million kids walking past. I need that. I need that. Anyway, yeah. I'm going up there, and it's like cocaine, marijuana. They selling bags of marijuana, like loaf of bread bags of marijuana. It's like ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollar US. I was like, get away from me, get away from me. It's like every five minutes, somebody bringing you a bag or something like. Get out of my face. You're just trying to just chill for a minute. And they uh-huh. like trying to sell you something, right? So my boy that was with me, he pushed this dude, right? While my dude broke down on this cap away a stance, like, fuck somebody. <laughs> I was like, stop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, okay. Dude would okay. have killed us, yo. And you see yeah. these guys out there hustling, fighting, hustling on the street. They fighting. Mm-hmm. You know how they, in New York how they dance for money? These yeah. cats out there fighting for money. So I was okay. like, you see what the big, you know what I mean? You see what the little kids are doing. You know what I mean? Imagine they what it's young. They yeah. kill us. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. yeah. They do you dirty. If you, if you, if you run up on one of them and you don't know what you're doing, you know, they what? really you know, make an example out of you, you know? They would have so killed that's us. Sure. So I self-defense. You need to know how to protect yourself the correct way. So if you ever do run across somebody, then you'll be able to, you know, take care of yourself and no handle yourself yeah that that was that everybody was, needed to do nuts that was like yo i'm staying the hell away from these kids boy just leave me alone here take take ten dollars i don't even want nothing just leave me <laughs> but that's i believe you see how you said they you see how you said they start from young right um i heard i heard um i heard my teacher you know light i heard light mention one time that he think it should be mandatory for all all children to start you know, fighting the correct, learn how to fight, learn how to protect themselves when they're young. And I I agree with that a hundred percent. I believe if you're younger, you know, when you when as shit, as far as as soon as you could walk or whatever, you should be learning how to, you know, self-defense. I feel like that should be mandatory. Imagine if it was mandatory for you know the youth to learn how to protect themselves the correct way, and even females for them to learn how to protect themselves the correct way, then I believe a lot of violence would be stopped, a lot of things would be solved. Just off that little that little thing alone, just learn how to protect yourself the correct way. I think a lot of incidents will will be avoidable. Yeah, self protection, self protection is a whole thing. But back mm-hmm. to what I even even got to it right before I even contacted you, when we started this conversation in the car, looking at Instagram. Like I said, we got these guys that are in a car and pretending to get carjacked and leaning back and pulling their guns out. Yeah. Like, are you fucking serious? It kills me every time I see that shit. And then you got the guys that's doing like what they call, I don't know if you've probably seen it, but it's called shoot and move training. You know what I mean? Shoot and move training. No, I'm not too right. familiar with that. So shoot and move. You, you, uh, USA Defense, USPDA or whatever the heck it is. Basically, okay. you have a stage, right? So you got targets here, targets here, targets here, targets there, and there's obstacles in between. And you, okay. come up, you come up from a seating position or any strange awkward position, and you got to shoot your targets around. You got to move from point A to point B and back. And so you're, you're sitting, you're sitting, you're sitting down at first, and you no, got You got to get up and go, like okay. you, like you them boys and shit. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. but but yeah, that yeah. even that I'm looking at, but it's called defensive training. But I mm-hmm. think that defensive training is more 
towards police officers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not practical for, you know, I'm just an everyday dude. You know what I mean? I uh, uh, I go get my bread and I come my ass home and okay. pick out the trash. Yeah. I ain't no damn police yeah. man doing no. no you. I ain't doing a hostage situation taking out multiple targets. You know what I mean? Factual. I ain't combating. So I'm, I'm not. So I don't think me personally, you know what I mean? Unless I'm doing that type of, it doesn't really apply to me. Okay. Okay. And every time I say something about it, you know, it is, you know, Armel, Armel and Nancy, what are you saying? We shouldn't train. We should... okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not saying you shouldn't train. What I'm saying is I don't think that type of training is practical for me. Okay. Because I guess sometimes it may be hard, hard for you to even um like get to your gun in time. It's not even practical. One, the way that training works, that shoot and move training, unless I'm shooting a guy, a threat that's 25 yards away, you know, 25 feet away, mm -hmm. it doesn't apply to me. And if this person is 25 feet away and I can't get away, that's on me. That's on you. If you got the distance to get away, then you, got you the might distance get, to get away. away. But according mm -hmm. to a lot of, you know what I mean, in the gun community, and you may not be familiar with this, Okay. It, it's not enough time. It's not enough time. It's always if it ain't enough time, it's already too late. That's how I feel about it. I feel you, know you on I mean? that. Okay, I could agree on that. I could agree if, on if, that. If, if it's not enough time, it's already too late. What I'm talking about is more practical, right? I got a threat that's a foot away from me. Cat, cat, try to throw a haymaker at me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I duck okay. or a couple of cats try to jump me. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. That's real to me. Yeah, and even if even in a situation, even in a situation like that, multiple people trying to, you know. But also, even if you can't get to your gun, you know, you just what you got your feet for. Get up out of there, run. I, I'm not an advocate so to try to. Run. You don't people. got you don't got the space to run. It may be one guy that may overwhelm and force grab you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The manhandle you. You know what I mean? Shit, you might have to just. You might have to, if if it's a few of them and one just grab you, you might have to just shell up. You know, do what you got to do. Just shell exactly. up. Exactly. Exactly. They, you know, this but, is the worst situation. This yeah. is the worst situation. You get grabbed on, you know what I mean? Yanked up, whether it's hair pulled, whether it's choked, yoked, whatever. Somebody came up from you from behind with some of these women that, you know what I mean? These crazy ass baby pops and rapists and mm -hmm. crazy dudes out there. Yeah, I ain't, yeah. gonna, I ain't gonna cap. And this yeah. happened, you know what I mean? Assaults happen to young ladies all the time. And a lot mm -hmm. of these young ladies don't have the physical strength. And that fucking, they got to get to their fucking mace. Cats come behind them, yoke them up, crazy dude. Yoke them up. You know, what the fuck they supposed to do? They got their gun. They going to get their gun taken and get themselves fucking killed if they don't know how to block up or get this dude the fuck up off of them. That's why 52 blocks, it worked well for, like you said, the young ladies. The women should be, um as far as, other than the children, the women should um be... Everybody blocks also, you know, yeah. The elderly that preservation should be a flat part of that on social it's, studies. It's, it's defense, you know, because even if you do got um, like you say, if you got your handgun on you and um somebody's trying to attack you, the first the first thing you should try to do is get them up off you and get up out of there. It shouldn't just be quick, okay, get them up off you, and then you know start shooting. If you don't have to shoot and you could just get up out of there, then you know, just do that, you know, better safe than sorry. Of course, if that's the last resort, if it's nowhere to go, like how you said, if it's nowhere to run, there's nowhere, there's nothing to do, and they attack you, you know, then you could, you could curl up. But if you got some more, you know, and then, then I guess you could, you know, you could use this that. Is, this is if you got something on you. This is a problem with something on you. The way a lot of training go, right? I don't, I don't know if you, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the way firearm training go. Mm -hmm. Most fire, for most handgun training, they. This is what this is the non. I ain't going to call it nonsense because I ain't no trainer and I ain't no expert at none of that shit, right? But I've seen real life stuff and none of that shit don't apply. <laughs> For real. Okay. Okay. All right. Most of the handguns, most of the handgun safety, I wish I had my prop gun to show you because I can't show you a real gun on YouTube. Of course. <laughs> I, I, I used to have a prop gun downstairs, um, but I don't have, I don't have it here. Cause I just been okay. moving. I've you got many firearms. You got a lot of firearms. <laughs> I got more. I, I got more than the average. The more than the average, yo. Big fish. What up? Okay. Teach, what's up? I rock with it. You know, I'm. Um, I'm an advocate for um, 
Yeah, no yeah. Well, I, I, well, I just want to know. Tell me about, you said Light told you about when Light first started teaching you. Light was telling you about the history of 52 Blocks. Could you mind sharing it with some of us? Yeah, you know, um, Light pretty much broke it down to me. and He was, you know, explaining to me how it comes from, um, from, from, you know, from black boxes. And um, because, you know, of course, and a lot of people, when they see 52 Blocks, they get caught up on the shapes and all of that. You know, they get, they just fiend. They just get, like I said, they get caught up on the shapes, but... It's it's not just blocking, you know. It's it's defense in the totality. So when he told me that it come from black boxes, I did my own research and I would notice how you know boxes from the '60s and the '70s, you know, like Ezra Charles and you know Archie Moore, a lot of them fighters, they was doing the hand shapes and they was doing the movements from 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 early on, you know. It didn't it, like a lot of people like to say it started in jail, which it didn't, you know. It started from black boxes. And then it just migrated to the streets and then it went to the jails. But yeah, that's the history of it. You know, it came from, you know, black fighters, fighters like Archie Moore, um, Ezra Charles, Jersey Joe Wilcox. Those are the guys that was doing the shapes first before it even got to, you know, people on the bottom. So that's pretty much, that's that's the history of it. Yo, I'm going to tell, tell you, I ran across 52, right? And it was like what you were saying, you learn it when uh, kids should learn it at school. I was going yeah. to I'm from Brooklyn, so I'm just going to school in the stock. And this is what happens when you Brooklyn, you, Brooklyn. Yeah. So when you first go to school, right, you got the new guy, you, the new guy coming to school. And then besides the WWF wrestling that used to go on with everybody getting a goddamn suplex in the schoolyard, yeah. shit like that, and the uh -huh. karate and, and the karate stuff. But it was just like, yo, you know, how's your hands? How's your hands? It was a slap boxer. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was the yeah. first exposure, and it's just play fight. It always starts as that's, a play. That's, fight. that's what we do. That's what that's what we do. Like you know, it you always see start as keep playing, you and see, it always gets real. Uh huh. <laughs> but, you, but, like I said, it started from black boxing. You see the um, yeah. we that's what we do. We we add our we add our we add our um our yeah, finesse so to it. You know, that, we see that's what that's the box is doing, and we put our own flavor to it, and that's yeah. how you know it just grew and it just grew and it just grew. You know, yeah. but the most important thing I learned was. Uh, from that experience, that schoolyard experience, you know, PS44, shout out. <laughs> yo, okay. That experience was blocking. Because, yo, because yeah. even if you get the best of somebody sometime, uh -huh. you never really get the best because they own boys <laughs> going to jump. <laughs> you got to go with your own boys. This is a whole situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or they cousin mm -hmm. or some crap like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you, you know, it. One of, the, one of the basic things was block, get down, get low, get away. You know yeah. what I mean? Which and is, that's, that was the most practical self-defense shit ever, bro. You know? that's, that's that works for guns, every, knobs, everything. Get low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> block it yeah. up, get low. Yeah, I agree. Get low and get away. And get away. Self-preservation first, you know? Self-preservation yeah, first. Like, there is no... What you about to say? You about to say something? Nah, I would just go ahead. Self-preservation oh, first. But no, I was about to say, it's, it's self-preservation first. You know, there is no other, you know, martial art that just teach you, you know, teach you defense. Every other art, you know, teaching you how to, you know, punch or kick, you know, or grab. Or the Aikido or the grab. But you that know? requires, like I said, it, it's, it's way complicated and requires, one, most martial arts are completely combative. Uh -huh. The other martial arts that are not combative are very, very technical. That it take a technical meaning, knowing pressure points, knowing focal points, how to throw and how to throw, right? Yeah. Or how to disarm or, or how, you know what I mean? And then I know my brother Jason, my brother Jason, he was one of the people that helped me even come up with a concept with, when he was thinking, brother, okay. he's in a chat, uh, Jason Ewan, okay, he, he's a Marine, me. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's a Marine and he, he, told me about uh, the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. I don't know if you ever heard of it or know about that. Um, Nah, but I know them dudes know how, you know, they're dangerous, they're in the Marines. You got to protect yourself, right? Yeah, you know, every Marine has to know at least the basics of it, basically, okay. right? But if you ever look at that stuff and look it up online, that shit is designed to kill motherfuckers with your hands. That's mm -hmm. all it is. It's combat. It's combat. It's not so much a get somebody off of you. You know what I mean? And it relies a lot on brute force. That's pretty off. People forget, you know, all, all, all fighting is, is pretty much, you know, 
punching, kicking, and wrestling. That's another thing you know I learned from light. It's only punching, kicking, and wrestling. There is no other extra, extra thing to it. You know, some people know how to wrestle, some people know how to punch, some people know how to kick. Those are only three lanes in, in fighting. You feel me? You master one of those, and then you can go far. Of course, you could add add something on top of it. Like 52 blocks is my defense, but boxing is my offense, you know, punching. So you can you make the all yours. And a lot of people don't know about 52 blocks or just not probably hearing about it or, you know, through recent life. But everybody loved, like, those Brooklyn boys when they got in the ring and was throwing it up. And they loved Mike Tyson, you know, Shannon. Mike Tyson. <laughs> you know, they got, they got the style, you know. The uh, and they got the style. Judah, them boys was bringing yeah. that. They was bringing that there, you know, Facts. elbow throwing them bows. Facts, <laughs> like Facts. get off of me, you know. You know, and, Facts. And it's like, yeah, nobody fights like that. It's ruthless. It must be. Nah, that's that fifty-two right there. But if you notice, and you gotta, you gotta really have the eye to really be able to see it, because like I said, a lot of people get caught up in the fanciness to it. But you gotta right. remember, fifty-two blocks is, is defensive. It's, it's technical defense. So if you watch, if you watch fighters like even, even Muhammad watch, Ali, he has some he has some levels to it. But Muhammad Ali ain't had the strongest. That's he a goat, but he ain't have one of the best defense of, of all time. Mm-hmm. But like if you let's say somebody like Floyd Mayweather, if you watch Floyd, he got a lot of fifty-two in his game. He got a lot of elements of fifty-two in his game with his counter punch and even the shoulder roll. If you watch Floyd, if you watch fighters that say Andre Ward, even Jerome Boots in is a young boy, a young fighter on the come up right now. If it's a lot, the way he taught, the way his father teach him, he got 52 in his style. So, like I said, 52 comes from us. You feel me? It's, it's defensive. If you're a defensive fighter, nine out of 10, you got 50, some, some 52 blocks in your style. Because remember, boxing, they black boxes been doing the moves, they've been doing the shapes. What's, what's been Philly doing, Shells? What's Philly Shells? The shell, yeah, right here. Oh. You got your right here. The shell, I made whether you know when he be doing the shell, or right. whatever, right? But, um, yeah, like I was saying, like most, most, most fighters that with our complexion, mm-hmm. most of them are you know counter punches, which is also they also 52 block fighters because it's deep. So 52 it's blocks is predominantly defensive, and I seen another gentleman, he's on YouTube. Um, Even your well Romero, go look up your well Romero. You feel me? MMA fighter, you know? It's yeah, whole- yeah. For real, for real, for real, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't even, I can't even get into boxing and fighting mm-hmm. or stuff, man, because I'm I'm a Buddhist, man. <laughs> I feel you on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm for real. That. I'm a non-violent okay. dude with guns, bro. That's the, that's the, that's the equalizer, gun, you feel me? Yeah, you no, can't it's do nothing not with an that. Equalizer. It's about, for real, for me, it's mm-hmm. about, you know, I like style, you know, I mean, I got into it. And it started out as something as something as simple as defense, but yeah. then I I started liking it. I started liking and looking at different things. It, it uh-huh. became more about staff. It became you know one of those things like sneakers, like put the sneakers away. So oh. <laughs> you know, I, I was starting collecting sneakers and shit. Uh-huh. Okay, it, was, it became like that. It's okay. like the place that I'm at now with this firearm thing is beyond fucking self defense. So mm-hmm. it's beyond. I got shit that ain't even practical. Like, what's that for? <laughs> oh, that you, you just got just to have. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. not. It's, okay. I, and I don't. And for real, for real, I'm not in, in, in me. I, with me, particularly, I'm not in that type of environment where, you know, it's it's a real low probability of me coming into some shit. Okay, understandable. It's it's really 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 low. Okay. But nevertheless, it can like going to that car. Anything, road. anything is possible. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. In the world we live in, in the world that but we like live in right now, I, I, I don't feed. I don't feed us. I don't. I don't like seeing people get. I don't like seeing people get their ass beat, or yeah. you know, even have a sport. You know, what I mean, mm-hmm. I, I don't even. You know. I oh, don't so you don't, you don't you don't um you don't watch boxing as much or, or like MMA? I don't, unless it's a yo, unless it's a fight party or something, and I ain't really watching. I'm just fucking around okay. like. Okay, I'm just, okay. I'm just, I don't know. I'm the strange, I'm the strange as not understandable worm ass dude for real. Okay, now I feel you ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, I'll be watching, I'm subscribed to a few other, um, you know, gun channels because, like I say, I'm an advocate for um, self preservation with that, with that, you know, with the gun too. What's so, channel you subscribe to, man, because I half of them cats probably sitting in here listening. Who 
um what's this what's the what's the what's this channel that i've watched what's his name um i think is it call calling Noah? it's a it's a black dude Colin Colin. Noir, he a dope dude yeah yeah that's 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 him um it's another channel i think called tactical tactical fight tactical firearms or whatever when they showing you how to like yeah, clear you a yo you know you know wireless cats on on youtube right wireless i got a book. hold on i got a book that um let me see let me see I got a book right here called Prepared and Arm that I'm that I, I gotta finish. You heard of this book? No. Oh, it's called Prepared Arm. It teaches you how to form a um it's a team shooting tactics for home defense. It teaches you how to um I guess if the world if the if the world ever starts to go crazy, like everybody just wanna start killing each other type shit, ain't no more food. Things fall apart. apart. Things well, there's a lot apart. of cats in here that will serve you as that will serve you as well if you ever heard of these these cats uh a youtube channel if you ain't subscribed subscribe to these cats go to tactical turkeys tactical cats, turkeys that's the channel yeah these guys is in here this guy's in the chat right now his name shout Victor. out to him i'm gonna I'm check them out you know i'm all i'm, Yo, I'm, I'm I like no information you know, i like my dudes man and they sit up there and my man big fish little boat right all right shout he out to them salute Paris theory ass dude right Okay. And, and he always he ready for the world. He can't. He one of them dudes that can't wait for the world to end, bro. Okay. And he got. He happened to have one of the. You know what I mean? What he yeah. literally, yo, my dude literally has one of the dopest, dopest. That dude is like Jordan of the gun game, bro. He get. Mm. He literally, you know what I mean? He got some of the dopest shit. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, a regular. He he not a dealer or nothing like that. He just a regular. You know what I mean? A regular go to work ass dude. You know what but I mean? He prepared, but he prepared. Yeah, but he the dude said, yo, he was lecturing me the other day about gold, man. Because I was just wondering about, you know, collecting, you know, investing in gold. Okay. And, and you know, I, people solicit you with bullshit. So I was just asking around because a lot of shit I don't know about. A lot of ask somebody who may know, you know, I'll inquire about Fact. kind of like. I didn't know much about 52 so i yeah. reached out to you know what i mean i reached out to you in life you know what i mean i don't i, I don't pretend to know every fucking thing but I'll, i'm not gonna be like i don't know i'm gonna mm -hmm. fucking find out mm -hmm. so I um, hope my, up. somebody yeah. asked me something it's like wait a minute let me find out i'm gonna find somebody who could tell me a little bit about something and then when i go back and say hey this is what information you want to know but this guy here can tell you more Mm. That, that's how I, I agree. I that's agree on that. I carry it, man. You gotta um, you gotta get rid of the ego in order to um, you know. I, I ain't, I ain't. The, you know? Yeah, you know, the, a lot of people think it's it is ego, but it's not ego. It's, it's self confidence. You know what I mean? And that's um, just, when, my whole thing is about empowerment. That's my I whole agree. thing. I like uh -huh. to see cats shine, bro. I, I, I love I love fly shit, and I love seeing people do good, man. That's what it's about, you know. A lot of people don't got that mentality, you know. A lot of people I love, hate. I love to see people. Yo, I love to see people win. I don't even, you know, I mean, I don't even play. I don't even do do it with the football or whatever. But if my dude team win, yeah, I win too. I'm proud too. You know what I mean? I, I don't care me. what. You know what I mean? Respectful. If it's two of my dudes on the poster mm -hmm. team, then I mm -hmm. just be neutral. You know what I mean? Um, but if I'm, <laughs> you know, one one thing about one thing about fifty two though that um. Cause I don't know if you noticed, like right now, Fifty Two getting it's getting more notoriety than it has in the past. You know, it's getting mm -hmm. more eyes to it. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people in the past also um, gave Fifty Two Blocks like a bad name. Like a lot of the, um, like of course it was guys from the older generation that you know that was Fifty Two Block, Fifty Two Block men, but they also you know had boxing within their game. But it was also guys that claimed they was Fifty Two Block men and. They gave Fifty Two Block a bad name, like they would just go into certain gyms and just do a whole bunch of unnecessary hand movements, and you know that that um made people like you know like light and others look bad. Like for example, I got a um it's a young warrior that I be training with or whatever that I, um I also you know I be training him also, but he also trained with me. Um, I've been teaching him you know Fifty Two Blocks and um showing him the shapes and you know showing him the system. Um, he told me how he also do MMA though, mm -hmm. and he would. Every now and then he'd tell me how his MMA coach would like say little jokes, like throw little shots at the system or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, tell him to come talk to me so I could, you know, give him the history and let him know that 
52 blocks is not what he think it is because I know what he think it is. He think it's a whole bunch of dance. He think it's somebody in front of you just trying to look cool and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, So one day the young warrior, he came to me, he told me the story how a long time ago his coach was in the gym and somebody walked into the gym and was like, yeah, I want to spar you. Um, I know 52 blocks or whatever. So the MMA guy like, okay, come on, let's spar. So long story short, he sparred the guy who claimed he know 52 and, you know, he beat him up. You know, he 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 beat he beat the dude up. So I guess since the MMA coach had that, um, he been through that. He ran with it. He been running with that forever. Like, okay, that one incident when I did this to the guy who so called knew 52, 52 don't work. So I'm pretty much trying to tell him like, he need to come have a conversation with me so I can let him know that the guy that he fought that he did that to didn't have no fundamentals of fighting. He didn't know how to protect himself the right way. He probably just went to the gym and was just doing, like I said, unnecessary movements, which I'm pretty sure he was doing. But if he knew fundamentals of it, he knew how to, you know, stand correctly. He knew how to move around right. He knew when to do a certain shape instead of just doing it in front of just clapping his hands in front of in front of somebody's face. He did it at the right time. Then he will understand the usefulness of 52. You know, because no. it's not just about blocking. I'm doing research. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm like a bookworm dude, right? Mm-hmm. I'm doing research on this particular subject. So I'm looking at the research and stuff. So it gaze back to the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the MMA. Right. right. So, and the Grace family and all that shit down mm-hmm. in Brazil and all that. The, the root of that shit, right? They could say it came from Japanese and to what this dude did in Brazil. The root of it, seriously, though? The whole Brazilian jiu-jitsu or the great jiu-jitsu was, was adapted from the capoeira, the African, the African Brazilian art form that if you look at it, it looked like a bunch of dancing. It looked like 52. Those the cousins of 52. Oh, wow. Those are our cousins, the capoeira, those, yeah. those. So if you well, a lot of the Brazilian blocks the capoeira together, that's going to be fine. Brazilian jiu-jitsu adapted a lot of the capoeira. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It, it adopt, especially on the defensive end, especially right. on the defense and uh-huh. and the going low, the grappling. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The only thing that a lot of the stuff for the jujitsu that was coming out of Japan was the tech, but the technical stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, was the technical stuff, and that was like oh, okay. So yeah, it was it was just one of those things that I ran across in just the relationship between the capoeira and and the 52. yeah it got it like i said like you just like you brought it before it got some similarities to it how you said that, how they got the yeah. movements you know because yeah. 52 you know when you get comfortable you, you know start I mean? uh-huh. yeah. yeah when you're comfortable with capoeira your is a little more open yeah. it's kind of like open and move open and but move see that's the, the that's another that's that's one of the similarities that i just started to remember There's too like, speed. Yeah. They do a lot of, you know, moving back and forth with their hands and everything. But 52 blocks, we, we also do the same thing, you know, because like yeah. I said, it's not just about It's blocking. a more open 52, you know what I mean? But it's a, it's a, if I look at it, if you look at it like you see a practitioner, like it's not a lot of good YouTube videos on it. But I've seen the shit in real life. <laughs> you know, i seen it. Yeah. i seen 52. And, yeah. Do he in the chat. Hey. Mm-hmm. Remember the movements Mac, with the hands here, is just to get the eye. Mac, hit that link. Remember the movements with the 52, the hand movements and all of this. Cub, I just want you to look. Cub, hit that link, man. And come in here and tell with the movements with 52 yeah. blocks. I just want you to look at the hand so I can land my shot. I just want you to, you know, get distracted. I'm not just doing this in front of your face to, you know, look cool. I'm doing all of this to get you to look. So you look over here at this hand, then I hit you with this hand. You look at this hand, I hit you with this hand. So that's what all yeah. the shapes is all of that is for, you know. I like want you, somebody who in who in the chat, right, to come in and explain mm-hmm. to me, you know, what I mean, you got a guy or a girl that you have an argument with, and y'all all up in each other's face, and this motherfucker grab you, and how do you get to your gun? I'm sure mostly everybody in here is strapped the fuck up more than more than most. And I know this young lady, uh, Siege Talks, she, she's really uh, into martial arts and she trains okay. a lot. And okay. she's also an avid fire, uh, fire on it. She just, you know, uh, but she she taught at a women's conference that I know of uh, earlier this year. You know, okay. I mean, she's amazing. She's an amazing person. And uh, Shout out to him. Word. And uh, I would mm-hmm. just like to know, 
what are people actually doing? Because I know half these cats can't scrap. You know, and like you just said, you're going to have to do yeah, some before you, you get do? to your How do you get this person off you? You know what I mean? This is the worst case scenario, right? Somebody is overpowering someone, right? And that person that's overpowering them, that's being overpowered, has a firearm. They pull the firearm out. This is the scariest shit that I have. Pull the firearm out, right? But don't have control of where the muzzle is. And fires the firearm ne uh, negligently. And the firearm strikes somebody by accident, somebody else, and kills somebody. God forbid it's a kid by accident because they don't have control of the firearm, meaning they don't have control of where that bullet is going. Because that's, with that's me, the worst. that's the worst fucking case scenario. With yeah. me, I feel like everybody need to be accountable for every round that come out of that fucking gun. Yeah. Every fucking bullet that come out that gun, you got to put your name on it. You got to own it. So if you're pulling it out, you better. Best lady, that's why you should take gun safety seriously. Yeah, dead seriously. Yeah. But but what I'm saying is, every time that gun comes out, that gun should hit an intended target, right? Mm -hmm. Not somebody, not some, you know, I mean, across the street, a misfire. And for real, in order to land, even at close range, zero close range, it's extremely difficult. But that's why you need to be training going to the if you got to so fire on you know you need to be going to the gun even, range even in the military even in the military is taught right when you're being defensive mm -hmm. you have to make space when you being offensive you have to close space so mm -hmm. defensive open space so i just need with me practical firearms in fact they don't teach this shit. but if i was to create my own Firearm self defense program. I would teach. Give me fucking three feet. I need to be three feet away. Okay. And go. But if somebody already on me, I need to get three feet away for me to present fire and lay him down. Mm -hmm. they, 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 how far do you think the average firearm training shoot shot is? How far do I think the average? Yeah, yeah. Defensive firearm training. How far you think the shot is? That people train to shoot. I'm just, I right, let's say for me, hypothetically, when I go to the gym, if I go to the gun range, I don't know, is that a, a, a few, some, a few yards away? What, ten a yards? Fucking, ten yards. Yeah. That's somebody ten yards from me. That's all of space in the world. I, don't, I probably don't need to shoot them. I say, I can see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, okay. somebody ten yards away for real. Unless I, unless I'm up against a fucking wall. Uh -huh. I probably don't need to shoot him. I swear. Okay. I got I got shot before, right? And I guarantee you that person wasn't 10 yards away from me. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you. It was a close range. Mm -hmm. Zero close. Mm -hmm. Zero close. Like, like closer than this damn computer screen. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Close. Mm -hmm. Usually the cop is going to be, if there's a Usually, an altercation, people ain't going to shoot nobody for nothing, for one. You know what I mean? Unless you're getting robbed, you know what I mean? You might see it, and you can avoid that from a shooting situation, right? Okay. If it's going to be a physical contact, a physical threat, you most likely it's going to be an argument. Y'all going to be up in each other's face, right? And if that person grabs you or punches you in a threatening way, you're zero close. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah, and if they knock you down and start stomping your ass out, right? From close range, it's going to be very difficult to take control of your firearm unless mm -hmm. you create some type of space. And that space needs to be three feet. With me, practical okay. situation. Talking to somebody who probably been, I've been, yo, yo, I've been in a whole lot of fights since ninth grade, man. Uh huh. Like I don't know, did you did you reach out to um did you reach out to ATL Burley um the other um did I, I did I see I, my wife reached out to a bunch of people okay because the reason why I asked that because I know ATL Burley he's also um he do fifty two blocks but he also like I said like I told you over the phone he incorporated um um shooting with it with his fifty two blocks firearm safety with his fifty two blocks so yeah. um I saw him I saw a little video when he out to him, but he okay. didn't uh, he didn't contact back. 
Okay, I think y'all, I think y'all have a great discussion. He could give you more insight on. Well, um, well this ain't got to be the last time, man. We just gonna actual. We just gonna keep bringing because you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. I probably, I probably go in the lab tonight and start thinking of my own dad on self defense system. <laughs> okay, 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 <laughs> That's okay. That's the kind of shit that I be thinking of. But I for feel. real though, zero close. You know, I got jumped before for real, right? I got jumped before, and I seen people get jumped. Who didn't? Who didn't? A lot of people didn't believe me. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> most people didn't. Yeah, I seen cats get stomped out and they gun take it from them. I seen cats get their gun taken from them and shot because they didn't have yeah. the hand skills and it was too close and too fucking late. Yeah, I, so I, I feel you on that. Those man. are the worst case scenarios, and those are the kind of scenarios that could be avoided if a person can not just defend themselves, protect themselves. You know what I mean? Tuggle up, get down, get away. You know what I mean? And you know, defense is defense is more than just even you know even doing certain moves. It's also being aware, being ahead. You know, avoiding situations. You That's know, a, I mean, like I said, I've been around this two way community, and the a lot of the thing is situational awareness. Yeah, right? yeah. A lot of it is situational awareness, right? And a lot of it is emotional intelligence. But you would not fucking believe how many you're from a city, bro. Yeah. People don't have that much social. Uh, a lot of people in America, and it's a damn shame, are not socialized enough to identify things that are wrong. I could probably see that, and you could probably see it like, yo, this shit seems off. I'm going the next direction fast. Of, of course. It's every most people in America, 85% of the people in America are not like that. They oblivious to this shit. That's, that's they not oblivious cool. to the fucking world. It's not yeah. cool, but it's the reality of the world we live in. The only thing about the world they know is YouTube, Instagram, social media, and some shit on the news, bro. That's the yeah. only thing about the rest of um of the world they know. Outside don't get of that, up in the news, man. The news, the news don't got your best interest. All this man. shit. Yeah. Ain't nothing yeah. got your best interest. And this yeah. is all yeah. about yeah. you know empowerment, you know what I mean. So, mm -hmm. uh, but seriously, a lot of people never been in physical contact. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Never been in a physical altercation. And they can't even stand an argument. You know what I mean? They uh, Most people in America can't stand a difference of opinion. And that's, speaking of argument, that's another reason, that's another thing why you should also learn how to um protect yourself the correct way, because you wouldn't even get into no arguments. I can't even remember the last time I got into an argument. I get, an, just... argument every, I get an argument every daggone couple of hours. <laughs> I don't argue. I don't got no time to be arguing with nobody at all. I, I try not that. to, man. But yo, mm -hmm. this is my in my place. It's a fight for dominance, man. Okay, understandable. You know, yeah. you and your wifey going back and forth. Okay, all day, every day. It's Most a fight for dominance. We could be, we could be saying the sky is blue at the same time, and that shit ain't. That shit is still blue. Her blue is different <laughs> from my blue. You know, what I mean? <laughs> heard you. You got to be same. right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Factual, okay, okay. No, yeah. I feel you. We saying the same shit. We arguing about how I should say it the way she say it. <laughs> okay, you know? okay. Say yeah. that. Say that. You know what I mean, it's it's a it's a. I don't, you know, I, you know, and I'm known in the community probably for arguing, but I don't like I don't like to say I'm arguing. I like to say I'm explaining why I'm right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because okay. I don't just, you know, I feel it's, it's like funny how you say that. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even care to be right. It's just like it is what it is. I don't even yeah. I don't even care to explain myself and be right, you know. I ain't never explain that myself level. to you. I didn't elevate I really, to that level yet. <laughs> I really care about you. Then if I'm explaining myself to you, that means I really care about what you think. But I don't got time to be explaining myself. You so know, anybody want to jump in here and ask the gentleman some questions, man? And you know, yeah. Yeah, I don't even got time to be explaining myself, you know, at all. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine because yo, is is if you don't, you don't got to explain yourself, but sometimes you got to give somebody. Uh, I feel like I got to give somebody a different perspective, okay? Because everybody, I don't feel like everybody sees. I don't even got time to try to even open up your eyes. You hear me? If you can't see it, then that's on you. Yeah, I, that's the time is all I got. So <laughs> time is all I got. When I ain't got no more time, the game is fucking over. Time is value. I don't even like my time yeah, to be when wasted. When I ain't got no more time, the game is over. 
So that's all. That's oh, that's pretty much all I got. So I can give you the game, but you know what I mean. You, you factual, know, factual. I factual. that's all I got. You know what I mean. So I'm I'm gonna give you that, but especially a lot of brainwashing that's going on, especially through social media, incorrect information. And if I know something different or a different perspective, let me I look at people look at it as an argument or an opposing view because it's different from what they perceive things as but i'm not really not arguing i'm just expressing uh, expressing yourself getting your point across a different point of view yeah 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 yeah. oh light said he coming oh light said he about to come on he said nine o'clock oh yeah. <laughs> I, 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 i'll wait to like it on the, uh, <laughs> lights coming on at uh nine o'clock he said he Copy has to take care of something okay, um, okay, okay you know he's an hour behind <laughs> you know, like he's a um he's a busy man, you know. He um he yeah. be moving. That guy, that guy be moving and grooving. He don't also he don't even get the credit he deserves, you know. He don't uh-huh. even get the credit he deserves. Because so before tell us light how you ran into him. How I ran into light, um, like like I said before, you know, I was doing my research and um I saw a few other 52 block guys, you know, on YouTube, but um I just felt like a lot, no disrespect to none of them. I just felt like it wasn't as applicable. Like it wasn't like realistic as much. Just my opinion, you know. Um, but when I found light, I felt like his his teachings and his system was applicable. And like he also had a system, like a set, like each block, you know, um, what to do, you know, how to apply it. I felt like he was the only one that was actually, you know, breaking it down compared to all the other guys, compared to all the other um 52 black men um on YouTube. So and I just I ran across another video of his after watching his videos for like a week or so. Mm-hmm. I um I commented under one of them and I'm like, yo, does this really work? Like, does it really work? And um he responded back, like, it's not it's it's not does the art work, it's does it's does the man work. And when he hit me with that, I was like, Okay, that's deep. I'm like, nah, that makes so much sense, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I reached out to him and then I would go to Harlem every every chance I got every week, and I go to Harlem and we'd train. We had just get work we just get work you know we just kept kept going from there um i also signed up for his online course so i was on his online course and then i was going to train with him so i was just getting 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 a whole bunch of information um mm-hmm. i went from having um i went from fighting it on um, yeah. certain i was fighting like underground leagues underground leagues like that would be in a park or certain people basements then I went from fighting the underground leagues and I went to the gyms. I started fighting against, you know, people with actual records, like amateurs, you oh, know, top man, amateurs. Started sparring them and I started really realizing, like, okay, now nah, I know what I'm doing. This really works. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Light don't even get the credit he deserves, you know, the first man to turn 52 blocks into an actual system. Into I an know, actual system. Uh, I was looking at, you know. Because he did like create it. it. He did not create it. He did not no, create you know, it. They never claimed to be, but I know. But he's what created he the system. Formalized it. Yes, the first person. Yeah. Created, like I said, the blocks was here from the 60s, 70s. They was always here. Longer than that. But he made it into a system, you know? Put it he together did. to the point where he, he could teach other right. people and they can pass it on. I've seen a guy in Denmark has a nice YouTube channel, and he's saying okay. uh, he, he was given uh, – he probably has the, the most complete dag on a uh, YouTube channel, and all he does is – you know, he took light class. Yeah. You know, he took 500 hours. I think he was flying to the States. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And he, he was explaining that, giving them props basically in every video. I was like, damn, let me circle back. Er, go to web, go to uh, website and stuff. But yeah, I just, from, I, I researched a lot of different, like I said, I researched a lot of different martial arts. And what uh, drew me to 52 was because the practicality of it. Yeah, yeah. I see, and in its true defensive form, and mm-hmm. protect, like you know, brother, the brother was telling me he was behind a wall for eight million years or whatever, and you know, he said the guards would trip every once in a while. You had to make sure when they tripped out, started beating motherfuckers' ass, you had to make sure that you didn't get sent to the infirmary mm-hmm. you know I mean? with something critical other than some cosmetic shit broken up kidney and blown out kidneys and shit like that. You know, you know how to block, you know what yeah. I mean? Just hold it. 
lessen the damage, you know, because you know, of course, you're probably gonna, you're gonna get a hit, but you want to take at least damage as possible. At least damage as possible, you know what you I mean? Know? Or even and those boys you know. that roll up on you, you know, you want to take. It's not just survive, you know what I mean? Because you could survive and be fucking paralyzed. Yeah. You, know you yeah. want to survive and thrive <laughs> as thrive, much as possible. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I you agree want to just, it's, a bit, it's a little bit, you know what I mean? The raw essence of it, you know, the whole thing, like with prepping or, you know, but, you know, like prepping for when shit hit the fan or, you know, when mm -hmm. shit fall apart or whatever. The whole thing is on survival, you know what I mean? Nice. Now, yeah, the basic things, right? Survival. I'm not into just surviving, man. I want to survive and thrive. I want to be yeah. able to survive and be able to have enough to grow. You see what I'm saying? I'm yeah, I'm with that. I'm with you that. Know? Yeah. I want. I want to be. I want. I want to be able to. I want to be. I want to be able to grow. You know what I mean? So survival to me, I look at survival, you know what I mean, as being poor. <laughs> <laughs> being poor, right? A lot yeah. of people, not a lot of people can't relate to this shit. Mm. Like being poor, right? And a lot of people, believe it or not, I've been in other places in the world. A lot of people in America don't really even know what the fuck that means. And I wish mm -hmm. my wife would come out here. Cass, I, I, I understand. I tell you about this shit. But mm -hmm. for real. I seen people around the world. These people don't got. They worried about nothing, but getting the next meal or getting some water. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people, some people, some people don't work hard enough, but some people do work hard. Sometimes it just be their situation. But I get what you're saying. I'm all for that. You trying yeah, to talk? You know. But as long as they can get something to eat, they can make it to the next day. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they they got through. They survived that day. Now they need to get through the next one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Me, I want to. Me, I'm the type of dude. I want a little more the next day. I'm with that too. I want a little more the next day, and it's like I would like to get to the next day with the same shit that I had the day before. Like you're gonna get a little less done with one hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. You need both hands. You got to put in no extra work. Yeah, so you need both hands. But if you only got one hand, you got to make that motherfucker work. But if you don't got no hands, you, you kind of assed out. Now, if you, you woke up and fucking paralyzed, you better use your feet. If you, you don't got no you hands, know. you actually <laughs> better use survival, your feet. right? Survival, mm -hmm. a motherfucker alive, but he paralyzed. He a vegetable. Is that living? No, not at all. It's, it's, that's not living. You damn might as well put a plug. You're not aware. It's nothing. You feel me? You're not here. They, they survived. They, they survived. Yeah. yeah. That person survived. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They survived the bull crap. You know what I mean? Is it is it is it real? Nah. Is that live? Did you really? You survive, and that's just the basic. You survive. You breathing, dude. Yeah. You that's breathe. Not that yeah. that ain't not for me. For some people, you lucky to be alive. Baby. One day you'll walk. You know what I mean? They, <laughs> What? But in the meanwhile, in the me, in the meanwhile, that's that's just you know what I mean, and that's what turned me seriously. That's what enticed me with Fifty Two because it not only helps you to survive, right, to make a choice of fight or flight, right. It puts you in a situation where you can thrive. Yeah, where it improves your it it improves your situation. Even if you never pull your, like, even if, if you got a firearm and you never pull it out, you're getting stomped out enough, you can block and you never get. When they finish stomping you out, they get in the car and roll off. You you can get up and go like, ah, if you block them off, right? Even if you said survive and thrive, just the, that analogy is, thrive, that analogy is good comparison because, for example, I threw, I, sh I blocked something, that's all right, that's, I survive. But if I block and I counter, now I'm thriving. You know, I threw something mm -hmm. back. So that's I like how you said that. You feel me? I'm surviving if I just block, but if I block and I throw something back to protect myself, now get I'm yours. thriving. You know, you might not get yours right there. That you might not get yours right there. You might have to mm -hmm. put up like 10 blocks before yeah. you yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? you go here, 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 here. Yeah, yeah. All over the place. You might have you to know? put up 10. Then you let your punches go. Then you let your punches go. You and feel me? So get yours off. It might not be right then and there, but it's yeah. Get yours off. You it's chess. Good. It's chess. You know, it's yeah. chess. 
yeah, yeah. But it's, that, that's you know, but so you know, but but a lot of things is based on the last principle of survival. And survival is all cool. But if I can't, you know, thrive a little bit, if I can't eat a little bit more, man, I, you know, what I mean. I feel you. I, can, I get I the morale, that. yo. Your energy yeah. is fucking that repetition shit. Yeah, it's just like like slavery and shit. Go work for the master some more. Hey, and I, I got a I got a question for you. Um, how often how often do you go to the um to the gun range? Not as much as I should. My wife literally goes more than me. I'm not even okay. a good. I'm not even good at shooting. To tell you the truth, anybody. Oh, well. No. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, okay. I'm not even I'm word up. I'm not even really good. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not even my wife probably goes more than me. She she's she's pretty much um kind of like stay at home. Mm -hmm. So she has a lot of more free time. I'm I'm a 10 hours a day work person. Okay, you grind again to it. Okay. So uh I don't have a chance in it when I it's not I go, I go. Okay. I go, but like I like you said, not as often as you as you should. It could be more. I go when I feel like going, man. I, I don't for real, for real. When, okay. let me tell you about when I do go. And and people in here will tell you that went went out with me, right? I like to see other people have fun more than me. I like okay. to bring I like to bring the guns out and let other okay. people experience it more than me. Oh, like shoot your own guns. Yeah, I like to bring my guns out and let oh. other people shoot them. You know what I mean? Okay, it should not that way. I like me. to see other my people own enjoy guns. my things. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the type of person I am. I like okay. watching other people enjoy it more than, uh, you know, I like seeing other people sh shine. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go yeah. through my thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My shit that fire. Here, try this out. You think I'm bullshit? <laughs> try, try this fire out. That's how okay. I am. You know what I mean? And let okay. and let uh and let uh other people because I know the way I've been personally been purchasing. I see you go to the gun store. Uh we have a gun range here and they got rentals and stuff like that. Oh, well, you could buy the gun and you gotta bring it back. I mean yeah. you could rent it, you gotta give it back. And bring it back. So okay. usually in a rental section, they have like particular types of firearms, like they have these every these glocks or the SIGs or, or whatever the hell, right? Mm -hmm. And if it's not, most gun, they're like very seriously popular items or firearms. So they rent them out and people shoot them. And then people who are in the firearms typically already have these Glocks and these SIGs and XYZ. They probably already have them, you know what I mean? So you see them at the range, they're shooting, hey man, they say this Glock is like the best thing on a fucking planet Earth, right? Uh, right? Until they try something different. And that's what I always bring. I just send the pack up different things. Okay, let them get a different experience, see how different. Get a different it. experience, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've okay. been shooting these, like I tell my brother, he in the chat, he's a Glock fucking thing. Okay, he, I like the Glock. Like I'm, I'm the Yo, Glock. He, he, you put the HK in his hand, he don't even want that shit no more. <laughs> you see okay. what I'm saying? He only was like, yeah. damn. That's all he keeps talking about. You know what I mean? He's he's been talking about that for four or five months now. Okay, you know what I mean? okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like put something different, you know what I mean? Experience different experience other than the cop. And that's what I go to see people. Oh, yeah, I got to get me one of these. Or just, you know, uh an AR with a different type of setup, you know what I mean? Or even an AK, like they have AKs at the range for rental. And a lot of people mm -hmm. have their own AKs or whatever, or their own ARs, and they have ARs at the range for it. But that that should be all right, but it ain't quite like this. Try this. Sorry. That shit is all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like once know? they start, once they start shooting what you get them, they don't want to go back. Right. Mm -hmm. It's that different experience, and then it's that different experience to where people go into researching it more. You know what I mean? They, they up their enthusiasm about firearms. You know what I mean? And this is this guy, again, I can tell you, this big fish. I think about a gun, that motherfucker get it. I think I see the <laughs> shit online, like, damn, that shit fired. That motherfucker done got it already. Oh, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Crazy. Okay, okay, okay. So, Say that. Yeah, but <laughs> I just you like, froze on my end on the stream, y'all. You type froze on my end. Yeah, let me um refresh. I think it's you. Normally. It's me. 
No, I hear you. Let me refresh the camera. I hear you. So you think I need to refresh it? Refresh my page or? I'm going to go. Hold up. Let me do. I don't know how to. Yeah, 52 blocks is life, man. Self preservation. That's your system. I see somebody ask, does your system only stand up or are the ground fighting techniques incorporated? You could use, you could definitely use your shapes on the ground. Um, remember, 52 blocks is defense. You make you make it yours. 52 blocks is defense. You make it yours. So it could work with MMA. Once you learn the shapes and the movements, then you could apply it to, you know, apply it to whatever else that you're working on. But yeah, definitely, it definitely work, it work on the ground. You could skull and bone somebody when, when you're on the ground. You could protect yourself with the skull and bone shape. You could close the door while you're on the ground. You know, so remember, it's never the system. It's, it's does you work? Do you work? It's never the system. Do you work? You know, it worked well with wrestling. You know, 52 blocks and you're a wrestler, then you know that's going to take you far. You could, you could really put in some damage with that. Close the distance with your shapes. Go for the takedown. So it's you. It's never the art. It's you. Shout out to Light, the GOAT. Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Well, I'm Say back. That. I have to uh, fix my screen. Give me you know, I'm minute. new. I'm new to this, man. I'm new to this no stream yard. So I ain't even know if I was. I guess I was yeah, online. Me. I, was, I was totally just now. Huh? Yeah. I had to uh, fix the computer. I it was me. That. And I can't even see if people write it sound, so I had to go on my phone real quick to see. Yeah, you see it? Look at the chat. Yeah, I guess to see the chat or whatever, see people Oh, like there? No, nah, I don't know. I don't think so. I ain't seeing. Oh, it ain't 9 o'clock yet, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. 9.06. I wanted to give him some time, you know, see if yeah. he uh, see if he okay. make it on. Well, yeah, but back to what I was saying, man. I was, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, my computer died. Okay. It wasn't plugged in. So I had okay. to get another one. Mm -hmm. I had to get another one. Okay. Um, give me a minute here. Camera. Right. Settings. Give me a minute. I'm right here. Virtual. Okay. But yeah. Right. Yeah, you know, it's all about whatever um whatever people choose to do. You choose you choose your art, you know. I feel like 52 blocks chose me to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I feel like blocks chose me. Um mm -hmm. I got a story that one time I was um I was playing in the basketball tournament. This was like, you know, like six years ago. Um, I was playing in the tournament and um, they was giving out jerseys. And I told them like, yo, I don't care about the jersey number. I'm just trying to play, just getting some more shape, you know, run up and down a little bit. So they uh -huh. gave me the jersey. Um, I'm wearing, I wore the jersey for like five games, never paid the jersey number, no mind. I never paid the jersey number, no mind. Um, one day, one of my friends came down from OT, he came to visit. Mm -hmm. um, came down we was talking or whatever you know talking going over some ideas or whatever um so i get out to lead a room and um i was before i left the room i was telling him about how oh i'm thinking about you know learning you know doing 52 you know taking up this martial art taking up you know this practice so as i'm talking i get up to go out the room and he he he, he tapped me like oh yo you you serious huh you going hard you really focused on it i'm like mm -hmm. why you say that He's like, I see you got the jersey number. You got number 52. So when he said that, I'm like, yeah, number 52. Well, I took the jersey off and I looked at the number and it said 52. 
Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, that's funny, yo, that's crazy. I never knew. I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm looking, I'm talking to the bro. I'm like, yo, I'm not once ever paid this number in the mind. Like, I never did ask for it. I didn't even know that this was the jersey number. But so, that's the door. My wife, awesome. right? my wife yeah. just walked out of the room, right? So uh, it seemed like when I was looking at 52, uh, or we were just look, researching, and she was reaching out. Like, my wife does, uh, she's, she's like a... Uh, She's like a salesperson. She does like sales stuff like that. She she's like a hustler or something. You know, she she does stuff. Yeah. So she was looking at she just researching. So I do a lot of like the academic research, the scholastic stuff, a lot of stuff she does, like statistical research. So okay. she said, she said, Well, this guy, she said, You heavy on Instagram. So Who how mean? that with with yours, yeah. Oh, as far okay. as your following, compared okay. to like a lot of other brothers on uh that's doing fifty two on Instagram. Um, I don't know. I guess that just came from you know being consistent on the gram, just throwing out, just throwing videos, and um, uh-huh. you know, just trying to be genuine, just showing people you know what I know, and just uh-huh. you know, like I said, just being being genuine, showing people what I know. Um. That's that's pretty much it. Trying to be Seriously, consistent. This is how she. This is how. This is how. This is how she. She doesn't really look at names. She looks always. Everything is a, like a number to her. Yeah. Like statistics and numbers and everything like that. So I was like, hey, uh, this guy got back to me, and this guy got back to me, and this guy got back to me. It, it doesn't even have to do anything. He said, "Which guy is that? Is that the guy with these numbers or this numbers or this number?" Oh, okay. okay. For real. Okay. So I was like, yeah, yeah. it could be like a. Uh, mm-hmm. We 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 do a lot of shopping, like we do like stupid stuff, car, uh, you know, uh, European cars, like older old schools and shit like that. So okay. somebody contact us back, or a house or a property or something. Somebody contact us back. She's like, which guy was it? Was it the guy for this much money or this much money or? This much money? <laughs> okay. Oh, was it yeah, this, yeah. was it that address or this address? She always know numbers. Like okay, 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 she associates okay. numbers with people. She does. She don't even deal with people. I don't know. She's, okay. <laughs> it's just a strange thing. So she's mm-hmm. like, oh, so that's that's how she identified with as far as numbers, and she noticed that you had higher numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that. You know, I don't even let even with the numbers thing. I don't even let that you know get to my Nobody head. Nobody does, but this is the way people. This is the way yeah. she, which is which is understandable. Which is I don't even think nobody else does that, but yeah, yeah. I just I'm just grateful. Like I said, I'm just grateful for people that um you know watch the videos that like the content. Um, mm-hmm. I soon start coming over to YouTube. Honestly, you know, um, I, I got a YouTube page. Honestly, yeah, as she right asked now. about that as well. She said yeah. you do have a YouTube, but you didn't post anything. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I ain't post nothing yet. I'm about to start posting more. You know, um, I'm about to use Instagram for um showing like you know fundamental videos, but I'm gonna use YouTube to just I guess talk about certain topics and. Get my breakdown, maybe on you know, maybe some fighting. Um, maybe you know, have people like you come on my platform also. Um, so yeah, that's what I plan on doing within the near future. Um, but as far as Instagram, yeah, I just try to be consistent. I just try to put up videos that I feel people will um you know like, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a dope ass another dope ass channel. I'm gonna tell you about right. This mm-hmm. is brother called he's called a regular gun guy on YouTube. A regular gun guy, okay. I'm gonna check him out. Word, right. This is this is this this you know this brother he's from uh Chicago, you know what I mean he did something really positive, you know, and that positive thing was he pulled you know all smaller gun channels, especially of minorities like us, black, Spanish, you know, that's not getting a lot of play okay. over the past couple of years. And he created like a meetup where you know. You know, people who watches these brothers and these sisters on YouTube and Instagram can go hang out with them like a meetup. That's what's up. So, so mm-hmm. the first year it was a little small thing he did in Houston, Texas. And the second year is kind of he created something on live and it was just like run of the mills. Like, yo, they were talking about how, you know, the big YouTubers, the white guys had this big award show and they didn't invite. They didn't nominate a single black or hispanic person mm-hmm. so he was like somebody was like fuck it let's have our own award trip <laughs> might as well yeah believe it or not you know yeah. i mean brother made it happen yo and, and okay. he made it happen last year 
2022, he called it, you know, it was a regular meetup and it was a regular meetup too. And it was a, a regular uh, gun awards or whatever, gun tube awards, you know what I mean? Okay. It was fire, right? He did uh-huh. it again the following year, the third year. This shit was like a giant farm reunion, bro. You said it was like a giant reunion? Yeah, it was like a giant. Okay. It was bigger. And he threw a concert in there, and he's doing another one in 2024. Now, shout out I, to dudes like that. We need more people like that. You know, you know take initiative. You feel me? You know, a I lot mean, of people don't like to take so initiative. That, that, that was like a whole lot. Of, and for real, for real, that shit is bigger than guns, bro. And if you could reach out to, there's a lot of, you know, you know, there were some people that was there, like this young lady Siege there, mm-hmm. and she was teaching some, you know, self-defense to uh, the uh, women's conference. They had a whole women's conference, all the wives and some ladies that you see on Instagram with the click, click, clack. That's all right. was That's there. You know what I mean? Right. The kids were there. It was crazy. She mm-hmm. gave some instructions, you know what I mean? But th- the way this shit be running is like the more the merrier, man. And I like to welcome you. You can look it up online. Nah, I definitely will. Yeah. It's in, it's in Southeast Ohio this year. Uh-huh. And it'd be dope if uh, we could have some people there representing 52. You know what I mean? So where's that? Where's it going to be at this song? Um, it's going to be in Southeastern Ohio, something like, okay. uh, uh, I can't remember, Miamiville, Ohio, or some crap. Okay. Okay. About okay. Seven miles from New York. Okay. But uh, it's about seven hours. I'm in down in Virginia. About seven hours from me. It's about probably about the same drive for you. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. But, okay. No, here's my wife. She can tell you. I heard you talking about me in numbers. Yeah, her in numbers. Well, here's my I wife. She could tell you about the. Tell him about uh his event. I was telling him about his event. RGA um, event. Uh, RGG yeah. event. Okay. Okay. I was telling him about RGG. Oh, Siege. Hey, Siege. Hey, Siege. Hey, Some Siege, of our RGG has been because I was um, like to invite them out. Okay, I'm going to say, frankly, it is really, really dope. Um, it yeah. really feels like it's it's seeing your friends and family again. Um, I mean, the shooting just happened to be a part the of it. The shooting is just part of it. It's just um, like a food crazy. People could tell you that even wives who may not necessarily may initially be into gun, um, the all environment you're just so welcoming and it just feels so good to be around like-minded people like my people okay yeah i mean yeah and it's it's good to be around we usually take over the entire hotel yeah (laughs) this year we were the hotel (laughs) we were the hotel this year how many days are out there for Hotels we um, we we had a hosting hotel and we probably usually sell out they usually sell out all the har- surrounding hotels after that okay yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, the, last year was in georgia and the year before it was in memphis uh nashville nashville yeah it was in nashville and that was fun um nashville it was d- crazy yeah, man, that'd, that'd be cool if me and like could go out there yeah i i, I'm a, I was telling light we, about it as well it briefly yeah i mean because okay. even i mean in, even Arma, even even my own journey to even firearm and so on, I wasn't quite there. Um, but I liked the people and I liked the atmosphere. Um, and yeah. even I think similar wives' stories actually is 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 the same. It's just a bunch of those people that are there. Yeah. So, so yeah, the guy. Yeah. This is like people's like, uh, uh, it's like wow. Um, the guy, one of the people that was working at the hotel, it was like. It's a few thousand dollars worth of guns on these tables in this lobby. I said it should. It's a few <laughs> million dollars. It's, it's really, it was millions of dollars worth of stuff, you know. Okay. okay. It, was, it was, and it's no, like you don't really have to bring anything. That yeah. sounds cool. You I would definitely love to check that out. Yeah, I mean, people have to let you shoot um on anything. Say anything gun you may have been thinking about buying. Um, you'll find some shit you've seen in the movie. Somebody got it. it. Yeah. You could. You allowed to. You could. You could purchase um firearms there also. No, 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 no. It's just everybody personal use, everybody, have fun. Yeah, okay. everybody bring their own. The only thing you buy is pretty ammunition. much if you buy some ammunition, they be selling ammunition, people selling ammunition out there. But people just share their stuff. He's like, yeah, try this. Yeah, try that. Yeah, because I know? mean, I, I mean, I, I for one, I had a chance to try a Zard there from Bolt Forum. 
I, I mean, Bolt even Armel became even closer to Bolt. And it was just like, I was like, I actually really this like is, this is This shoot. is the crazy thing, right? So my man Bolt Vault, he in here somewhere, right? He, 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 he from um he from he from over there in Marlboro and, and Sumner over there on over on the other side of the other side of the stock. He okay. from down over there, like you know, um Sumner and Marlboro over, over mm -hmm. there. But he came to the joint, right? He bring this this SAR uh K12 sport. This, this, this is a firearm, it's a clone of uh uh CZ Shadow 2. We got the real shit, right? She liked the clone better than the real shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. This okay. one here. You know what I yeah. mean? So okay, okay. She she yeah. likes the imitation better than better than the actual joint. Than the actual joint, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Like okay. Yeah, so I was like. That's some shit. That I ain't get to that part of my day yet to even understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You rather, you rather the actual joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just don't understand. It, it's a dope ass joint. You know what I mean? Okay. But I ain't get to that part of understanding. I think it's the texture of the way I it think, feels. Uh, but, you know but, what I mean? How Jay? What up? But overall, but overall, overall though, I mean, it's just even the, the, you get a chance to shoot a whole bunch of different guns because people have different guns, and even Jason let me shoot. I've been bothering Armel about that firearm now for. Um, when 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 is it again? When is it again? It's actually June twenty first coming next, up. Next next year, June twenty first. Twenty twenty four. Started. Yeah, they already started selling tickets. That shit sell out like crazy. That shit last year is sold out in the first like fifteen minutes. And he had to try okay. try to get more. Like, he had to get more more accommodation. It literally sold out. In fifteen, in, in like the first fifteen to thirty minutes. Now that'll be cool though, because me and like could come or whoever one of us could come out there and just like you said, do a little um seminar fifty two, like show. Yeah, let me know. Out. Let me know because I, we I'm seriously we're seriously thinking about being a sponsor for the event. Okay. You know what I mean, but I haven't got to that part of my day yet. <laughs> okay. I, have, I, have, I, I guess I, I had that. We got it. Got to be worth it for me. Factual, understandable word. I agree. I agree on that. <laughs> it has to add up. And if it's just me and her doing a family thing, we can act like everybody else's family. You know what I mean? So factual, factual. So I'll say that though. So we definitely we definitely stay in contact and we're um and we'll go yeah. from there, you know. We'll there we definitely go. go from there. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be it'll be a good introduction. And I could mm -hmm. um I could even probably plug you in with the one of the hosts of the event. Okay. They, they definitely have so, and you, like I said, I, I'm gonna go on on these other shows all the time. Um, all these other guys. I'm fortunate that create relationships with people. Yeah, so relationships go far. You know, that's what it's about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we be always have to do an introduction. So, so. like I said, like you know, I'm saying, um, yeah, right. there's a few fire um uh channels that I could recommend, and they're really good people. And it's not always about firearms. These. The, the surface is guns, right? Or well, self preservation It's that's that's the background too. Uh huh. But for real, for real, most of the talk is music, food, food, music. <laughs> okay. Music. Okay. I don't know movies and food. Copy that. I'll copy yeah, that. And, and some traveling here and there, but music, food. A lot of times it's music and food. <laughs> <laughs> and movies. Movies okay. is the third thing. Movies is the third thing. Okay, okay. Because uh, if you think about that. it, you know, music, I don't know, you know, everybody has a different type of music, but it's mostly that, rap music that, that, you like. that they dispute and then related. Okay. And sometimes you get the Michael Jackson, the Prince, and some crap. Like that, those legends, those legends, you know, can't complain. No, it, it's the modern, it gets to the modern to the dirks and stuff, too. Oh, so, word, it get, it get all of that, too. Yeah, it gets it gets okay. into it. So, okay. it's a lot of times it's music and food. Say that, got you. Yeah, got you. a lot of so, so it's a way of some a lot of times it's this is where the firearm community is real, we're real, you know, real people. You know what I mean? It ain't these gun toting. Oh, everybody's a badass. We yeah, yeah, real yeah. people. We're going to sit and we're going to kick it about sports, music. A lot of guys in boxing. 
uh Michael Williams Jr. If you don't follow him, he's a boxer. Uh Michael Williams Jr., he's a boxer down in North Carolina. His dad run his dad actually actually having an event in a couple of weeks. Uh yeah. guns and boxing. That's they fire. Have, you know, I mean, they're independent boxing, you know, father and son team, man. I think he got I'm a belt. Check, check them out. I'm gonna check them the, out. The junior, yeah, junior. junior's quiet. His father loud as hell. You said Michael Williams Jr. Yeah, Michael Williams Jr. Yeah, he's doing. He's, he's making it's waves. guns and boxing, he's and he's making, making waves, he's bro. Making waves in the boxing. They're, they're heavy in the community. Um, yeah, you know? he's he's a he's a he's someone to watch. Definitely. His pops is funny as I don't know what Michael Williams Jr. Yeah. You know, you say that. All right, um, well, yo, I definitely and guns and fire boxing and firearms. Okay, and so I his dad's that. website, uh, Michael Williams Senior, is called mm -hmm. his his Instagram is guns and boxing. Okay. Hey, hello, shop house. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of, and like I said, this young lady Siege, she this uh, was Siege, Siege talks. I think she she, she, she does martial arts like heavy. She yeah, I see. She asked the question about the ground game. She asked the question about yeah, the ground yes. game. I think she likes in the jiu jitsu, and she knows a lot of people in MMA, okay. and she coached a lot of people. Like for real, this is. It's bigger. What I'm telling you is, yeah, could, this maybe, is bigger than just oh, we could go over some information. We could go over some tips, you know. Yeah, go just or, ex or exchange, or you know, exchange. And it's always, you know, a person's network is only as good as his network. Facts. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And I network. So I, I definitely, I definitely look forward to doing this, doing this again, and definitely look forward to um, you know. Send me the link, or you know, let me know what's going on with the yeah, um. With the I event. hope you're taking notes, writing those uh, things down. Yeah, yeah, I was writing yeah, stuff down. I got, I got my math. I got your math. Yeah. Just hit, got text you, me anytime. It's, 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 it's text me anytime. It could be uh -huh. this and that, sneakers or hats. Oh, Diaz, you heard about Yoki? Oh, uh, you have. What about Yoki Stir up? You heard about Yoki? Yoki. Um, Yoki. I'm not tell you. Who's who? That what's who's that? Again? This young lady from uh Florida. She's yeah. in the guns, but she does everything: cooking, hunting, shooting hogs, everything. You know yeah. what I mean? That channel is dope. Channel was dope. Okay. She's like one of, besides Coley on the wall. She's like the first black female to get over two million subscribers on on right. uh, on on YouTube. She said, "Yoki, Yoki Stura. Oh. Okay. and her husband is a dope ass dude, like crazy yeah. dope. Yeah, and she she's visits New York watch. a lot. So okay. you know what I mean? Yeah, she's very much. I mean, she's very much also Just part of the community. Absolutely, and, very much big and part she's of the really community. Cool. Crazy, crazy subscribers, but crazy down to earth. Her entire her daughter, very entertaining, funny as hell. Her daughter, her husband, everybody, whole family, dope. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna check them out, man. Word. I'm gonna definitely check them out. Food, right. cooking, yeah, all of that. I mean, she. You see her hunting hogs, <laughs> killing. <laughs> I'll eat pork. I yeah, she kill it. She kill an alligator. The chicken. She oh, she done, oh. she done make curry oh, goat for oh, it. She done oh. kill a goat, and make curry goat for real. Oh, oh, <laughs> all my looking fly. All, all, all yeah. my, you know, what I mean, stand, oh, you know, family and fly. So. You know, okay. it's I dope. Dig it. you got this, I dig she it. got like a real sick gun collection. You know what I mean? I really it. sick. You know. She got everything from the cheapest shit to the, to highest. the highest to the highest yeah. price. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It is very. It's I'm not gonna like, I'm gonna definitely reach out. I'm gonna reach out to her. You gave me a few names. You gave me a few names. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely yeah. reach out to her. See, it's check some, them it's out. Dope. It's some it's some really, really dope people. And, and you know about Black Rambo? Yeah, Black Rambo. I'm sure you heard of him. Yeah, I heard of Black Rambo. Yeah, I'm, i heard of him. He's a really dope dude, bro. Really? And, I saw a few of his videos. Real, for real? Just sharp as fuck, man. And he, he is what he is, man. But super dope dude, man. Wow. He, Black wow. Rambo, like one of those dudes that just take his shirt off and give it to anybody. Mm -hmm. And don't think twice Ooh. about it. Shout out to you. Know what I mean? it, ain't, like it ain't no It's not like it's really the people I've met in this community are really straight shooters. Solid, solid. There's probably some of the most solid people I've met in life. Uh -huh. Jason and Shanna. And Jason and Shanna, yo, guess... Jason and Shanna, right? Let me tell you this. I flew over the West Coast for work, right? They live in Washington State. Just brother Jason, you and Shannon, you and they're in the chat. Shanna, they're in the chat. Jason Shanna's gonna home. call me. Shout out to and Jason said, and Shanna. Yeah. Uh -huh. You better not go home without seeing us. They just let me into their house. I was only on the West Coast. You know what I mean? 
gave me a, gave me a, took me out to dinner to have Dungeness crabs and all that good yeah, shit. You know okay, what I mean? Okay. Kept me, kept me drinking, and Little you know people, what I mean. Show, show me VR. I never played video games before, for real. He like, came back, yeah. his mind was blown. He put oh, the wow. VR the PS4 super thing on me, man. I had yeah, to get yeah. on the highway to go to the airport, man. I thought I was crashing to the wall again, man. That shit was so real. Oh, they showed yeah. you a great time, and that's what's up. They showed yeah, you a great man. time. All the way across the country. Then Chris, you know, I never personally met Chris Stevens in a thing, right? You never guessed, though. You would never guess because I literally talk to Duke every single day. Mm -hmm. Dude, just send me gift in the mail. Like, who the fuck, Chris Stevens, yo? I don't even leave the house without my my cup. He sent me, man. Sent me a thermal cup out my day. You should have. And I never physically met this gentleman. Mm -hmm. It be like that sometimes, you know. It's Some good, people dude. energy. You just my feel man, energy. That. Kingdom defense, right? All the way out in Ohio, holla at me. You know, what I mean, he in town. Go check him, man. He, yo, this yo, is how these cats come flex, right? I go meet him at the, th you know, you bring your little regular ass gun, you know what I mean? This dude <laughs> just breaks out the motherfucking $8,000 Atlas on me. I'm dying. I'm like, oh, yo, I, he said, you want to shoot this? I said, I don't want to shoot that because I'm a might want one. I don't shoot I no shit. I would have shot that. I, I, shot I, that. I didn't want to shoot it because I don't need, I, I, I'm going to want it. And when I start wanting shit, I end okay. up getting shit. And okay, I was okay. like, not right now. I got other stuff on my list. I, yeah, I don't even want to. I don't even want to experience some shit that's going to get me <laughs> buying some shit. You know what I mean? That I know I'm going to end up liking some okay, shit. You got to okay. leave alone. Fact, fact, <laughs> fact, fact. So yeah, fact. yeah. Kingdom no, came through all the way from Ohio, man. It was nothing but since I've been around here, and I could just Start go. I could scroll through this chat, bro. And, you have a comment, bro. and I have a I have a story about everybody. You know what I mean? Like you, like you, like you just said you building your um your relationships. You know those good people. Your your um your yeah, network. Yeah, your that's network. That's mm -hmm. that's 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 all that's all the money in the world, bro. It's a lot of love, and they show me a lot of love, and I'm showing them back. And the thing I got to give is a game, and that's empowerment, man. Just let people know. Let people know that they can't believe all this fucking nonsense because it's not real. You know what I mean? Real, real, real. Yeah, is that, is that fake? Is that fake? yeah? Pulling out yeah, bah, 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 that shit fake as fuck, man. They've been watching too much TV. Yeah, Yo, yeah. if somebody yeah. carjacking your ass, it's get over. Out fucking car. Get out. <laughs> yeah, no, stop fucking playing, man. Motherfuckers, no, yo, no, that shit no. kill me, yo. They be on that fucking yeah. fake, yo. I don't want somebody, somebody yo, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. Nowadays, a lot of people was caught up in fairy tale. <laughs> uh -huh. A lot of people like the movies. They like fairy tale. They see John Wick. They see certain of these movies, and they think that's how <laughs> that's how it really is. And, <laughs> and <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, and I did him like this, and yo, that motherfucker came on me, and I went like this, and I pressed out just like fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> 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 it don't work like that. You know, and, and that's the wealth that I have to shit. But yo, it's a damn shame that I gotta fight a lot of people to just to get a different perspective, man. You I know, because I mean? it's hard to hear the truth when you've been lied to all your life, man. Factual. Oh, yeah. Factual. <laughs> that's what the ego. Do that. Oh, double head. Double head. Yo, for real, yo. The double head. Ooh. The reality is that it can be two if you got that much space, if but you have seriously. The time and space. But not the way they're pretending be realistic, you know? dot. I can't see the dot. You gonna wait for the fucking dot? Are you shitting me? Yo, <laughs> yo, you better start running. You need to go get a body there around that yo. time. Shouldn't be waiting for the dot. Yo. yo, all right, keep the gun in the holster, man. Just go home, man. Just, just go. You see some be shit happen. Just go the fuck home, man. You said, yo, some of these cats be action junkie. They can't wait for the shit to pop off. I was like, when it you pop off, you're gonna be done. You don't want yeah. it to pop off, you know. What it's mean? not a movie, it's real life. You don't really want it to pop off. Real life, man. Like, leave it alone, man. Right. Leave, leave right. it. That's some shit you don't want to see, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. But, but yeah, you. Just, you know, just block you, um, through that 52 block and get the fuck away. Ah. Go home. Good you gotta do. Get to your car. Push. Block some, get to your car, block some, and run out, yeah, you know? The yeah. flex, get up out of here. Yes, survive and thrive, baby. Survive and thrive. I'm, okay. That's the that's the slogan for today, survive and thrive. 
I have to do the plug. Please like and for anybody who's new, subscribe. Um, but yeah, I I dropped the link again. She so. dropped the link again. You see what Chris Siva said? Chris said we family. Yeah, you just have I, the right image. I agree. Right. Yeah, and that's that's just how that's just how it is, man. And yeah, and they clown me all the time, talking about I can't shoot, and I'm you blind as fuck. Shit. I can't shoot. Yo. I can't shoot for shit. Yo, <laughs> you say you got to go to the gun range more often. I, I, yo, she's surgical with the shit, yo. Uh, yeah, women, women are usually seriously. Are I think women are better shooters. I think it's the breasts, the way they. Uh, Ain't nothing do breasts. But for real, because it's like a tripod and shit. <laughs> <laughs> more leverage. <laughs> nah, more balance. You know how you got a gun with a tripod and you put it on a bench? Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. Put, they got a bench on their chest, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hold you, heard you. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, but I think women are better. Uh, better. No, shot. it's because they learn faster. You no, know, they learn dad, What up, man? Yeah. Come on in and talk your stuff, man, and ask some questions about the fifty-two. He probably from California. He don't know about that. Yeah, I got a few minutes left because I got to take care of some. So yeah, yeah you know, right, anybody got some got questions? Some. Yeah, just ask some questions, anybody. Mm -hmm. Or you could come in. The, the, if you want to come in, you can come in, or you could type a question in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, but it's cool. And thank you, Trey, for coming through, man. I really, I really yeah, yeah, man. I appreciate y'all from having you. Work. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just uh, like you said, we build the relationships, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but um. It's all good, man. No worries. I mean, I'm last. What's it? Last week, I somehow I'm a get so so. You got kept going. Going last week, you finished in there at midnight, so almost four hours. I'll be on here all night long. And man. then one and one time you was on for five hours. I was like, yeah, because my cousin. For five hours. Yo, my cousin uh, was on here, right? Yeah. My cousin was on here. He from out. He from out pink houses, right? Okay. Okay. Linden. Okay. Yeah, he gangster ass dude, right? Hey, I don't know what we talk about. How the music is corrupting these kids, man. It's old school G, right? Mm -hmm. This dude went on. He loved yo. You give him the stage, boy. He took the mic, man. Just rock. Oh, yeah. He, he, he hosted the show. Going. He okay. oh, five hours, bro. I'm That's a, tough. That's yeah, tough. I love, yo. He showed me love. I love that shit, yo. That's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, it's my cousin on here like five hours rocking it, yo. Oh, but um, <laughs> it's glad to see you. I was just glad I go on here all night, man. But uh, heard you, heard you, drop heard you. Off you ready? I had to be like, what are you doing? You could go ahead and drop off when you're ready. I know you got things to do because I, yeah, I got to take it some. So, um, I appreciate y'all for having me for real. Um, we could do this again, you know. Like I said, I hit you on your phone, I got your phone, so I'll just give you a call yeah, yeah. Any, anytime. Just hit me on anytime. I got and, you. Uh, Text me and let me know and I'm I'm good. Where where are you right now? Where he, he in Brooklyn? I'm in You're Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. in Brooklyn. Oh, we come up to New York. Well, we're probably, we we come up to New okay. York. We come up to New yeah, York. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, but my family live in the Bronx. Um, so Copy we come that. up to New York sometimes. Yeah, so. so we'll come up and we'll definitely we meet in person place. and chop it up. Right. I'm, yeah, I'm all for that. I've been at those food videos. I mean, like I'm I've been missing food in New now York. Now she want to go to a restaurant in New York. Yeah, because she watching okay. Instagram. Nah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a few good spots I can take you to. She, she already got a list. Yo, Say that. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm into discovering new food places. Heard you. Heard you. Respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. Say yeah. that. All right. So I definitely reach out, man. Good luck. And right. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yo. Thank you, Thanks. Later, wifey. Later. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm. As Brazilian guy said, we'd love to have part two of this. I agree. Yeah, we we could do this again, man. It ain't nothing. We could do it again. Yeah, I missed the first part of it because the other was crying. But, you know, yeah. yeah, I have to. But you're so Brazilian, Dad, man. How you? We still got a couple of minutes. We got twelve minutes before this thing. Anybody yeah, want to drop in or finish at ten? Yeah, I'm actually going to finish at ten. That's weird. And I only have one beer. I'm at, I'm looking at two beers. <clears throat> that one's eighty hat. I mean, what Zay, is it? Zay Zay have it. beer? Mm -hmm. Lady spilled that one. Okay. Blame on Z. Z wasn't to be any Yeah, she was. Mm. Yeah, that's why she was crying. Anyway, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I guess uh he texted me. He said he couldn't get out here. He couldn't uh the, he oh, couldn't come through. guy. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Just... So I'm just uh it's, it's Rodney. Okay. 
Yeah, but it's been real good, man. So it's been a great night, man. See you. And uh, should we end it early? You got other things to say? But yeah, I got my patch on. I'm G'd up. You know what I mean? Merch open. Find out how you get your free patch. The link is in the bio on Instagram, man. Get, you, get yourself a free patch. In the full disclosure, we'd be happy to take a small donation. To the Cassie, Cassie, want, yo, yo, Cassie and Chad me spending money on this shit, yo. <laughs> I, I actually said, yo, you this YouTube, patch, yo, you this YouTube shit donation. expensive, yo. That's all donation. We give yo, a free patch. This YouTube shit expensive. I, I, I know I click and buy something. I will do yo, free shipping. Cassie and over here complaining. Well, you gotta buy this, da, da, da. yo. I'm about to have my studio popping. I'm about to get the better camera because my shit look fuzzy a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, that camera's fucked up. Yeah, I'm about to, this. I put, but you know, you bought a bunch of lights and stuff. I try to service through the daily saw these lights, and she was in here for a while, just chilling. Yeah, they didn't say these lights. It was like crazy. She actually, she actually left right before um you actually came on. Yo, came on yo, but started. yeah, but before the live is over, I just wanted to say, man. Personal protection, you know what I mean? Personal protection and self-defense, man. So personal protection is protect yourself to get to your gun, right? Defend yourself with your gun or whatever means you have and make it home, man. Not just survive a situation, but thrive in a situation. Because it ain't that much difference I'm, from I'm, being I'm, paralyzed for life and dead. I'm going to get a plug for my book. All right, go ahead. Talk about I wrote book. a book. It's an ebook, um, and I'm releasing the audio school it's soon. It's called The Press to Success Five Effective Ways um, to Move Forward. So, if you're stuck mentally, um, you want to be able to, what, if you can't think of any new innovative ideas, um, you're an entrepreneur trying to figure it out, um, it actually gives a good blueprint for that. And it's nice and short and sweet, only 16 pages. Um, Oh, hey, Strap House. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, so yeah. So, yo, what's um, good? I'm All right, let her finish plugging more. herself up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. My bad. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, it's, it's, a little, it's, it's a little cathartic for me. And it's, it's a book where I really want to talk about um, if you're stuck sometimes mentally and you're trying to figure yourself out and it just becomes so overwhelming. Because as someone who pursues multiple business interests, um, some and also being um, a busy mom, um, taking care of a special child, special needs, and run up and down with construction, all the things that I do, sometimes you just get so bugged down that um, I was getting feeling overwhelmed at one point, right? So I created, a, I I had to figure a way of how to move forward, and this is. This is this book that I've written is about my pathway forward and to be able to come up with fresh new ideas. Um, and it's a good five effective steps of how to do that very straightforward and very effective. So, okay. Yeah. So what's up, Strap? What up, baby? Oh man, I'm I'm good, bro. How y'all doing tonight? Chilling, man. I'm I'm just riding. Yeah, bro. I just wanted to come in and show some love, man. I've been kind of peeping in the background. No, I ain't really talked to you guys since uh, the meetup. Uh huh. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I just wanted to show y'all some love. I know we ain't got but a few minutes. Nah, I, I can go on all night. Just, you know, I can go on all night. <laughs> <laughs> Many times we said two hour limits and our mother goes on. Uh, yo, like I said, man, my <laughs> this shit. Nah. Yo, then my man DC Money came on here last week. That shit was like four hours. And strapping that bass. Was, was Smashing that bass. Smashing that bass. DC Money. And I can't remember the other person. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 like four too hours, rich. Man. Too rich and silverback. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. But that I think that's a common thing with the with the gun with, with the gun folks, with the folks in the two A that's like really kind of like get excited about these firearms. Like uh we just talk for hours and hours and hours. Yeah, it wasn't you know? even for real, for real. And that's what I was telling this gentleman earlier. A lot of time in this firearm community, there is the talk about the firearms, right? But there's so much other stuff that right. ends up being a conversation that ends up being a, like a crazy conversation because we talk about firearms and then I don't know what the hell we're talking about. Business. We, you know, we so that was right. Last we with talk Coy. About business and Coy, three hours. We talk about business three, four, uh, we three and a half hours. Of we talk about 
Oh, we talk about tax overages and how that affect people um, losing their homes, foreclosures. So the conversation mm-hmm. goes in several different directions sometimes. And it's good. And that's the thing, though. That's what I'm saying. That you start with that common thread of firearms, yeah. but then you find out it's so much more that you have in common, and it just yeah. like never ends. Yeah. Because I like to think that firearms, uh, the firearm aspect of it, is only one aspect. But the whole thing about even having a firearm is about self empowerment. You know what I mean? Now, what's the recipe? What's the recipe for that? You know what I mean? What's the right. recipe for self empowerment? You have to be able to be protect yourself. You know what I mean? For one, you have to be able to defend yourself and provide for yourself. You know what I mean? And make sure yeah. that you uh, that make sure you are uh, practiced or educated. Educating right. yourself. Education is a big thing about it. Yeah. Educating yourself. And then it's, you know, networking. You know what I mean? Even even that aspect. And when I think about all those things, that that's empowerment. And all those concepts that apply to firearms and apply to empowerment and, and empower to community development. You and know what I mean? Right. From the small from yep. the small scale to the larger scale. Self is self improvement, self empowerment, community building. You know what I mean? Well. You know, like I said, I'm all the way on the West Coast at work, and just like Jason and Shannon come through, we right. had issues guns for about an hour, and we sat there and chopped it up, had dinner, played video games, had some drinks, chilling out, laughing, bullshit all night long. You know what I mean? And it was great. Right. Shout out to the UNs. Yeah, you know, it was it was a crazy beautiful thing, and that's what it's really about, and that was empowerment. You know what I mean? How uh-huh. It's powerful just to shake somebody's hand or uh, to go across the fucking world and just be like, that's empowerment. You know what I mean? Right. That's empowerment. And that's and it was that common thread, like you said, that firearm, those interest in firearm made it. No, right that back. go back to my first, first video that I did. I did a video, I don't know if you ever saw it, months, months ago. The first video that we released for this channel, it was like, um, who is a gun enthusiast? And literally touched on where it was literally almost anybody. So initially the media would be like, well, good again, gun enthusiasts tend to be some crazy person, da, 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 who, you know what I mean? And that is far from right. the truth. It is so wide, it could be almost anybody with the interest of firearms. The whole idea is that the firearm is just one aspect that someone could be interested in, but we're all multifaceted. Mm-hmm. And we all have so many different right. interests that could align in different ways, you know? So that's yeah, and I think the media does a good job of doing that, just kind of trying to peg the two way community as this like French group Why where French? you know you got to be like a gun nut, you know, some mm-hmm. crazy person mm-hmm. to want to own all these guns. But you know, it's just a right that we have as American citizens, you know what I mean, to be or able to enjoy. You know, you know, to worry about somebody yeah. want to beat them in the head. Why, why right. Like- <laughs> Our mother is more conservative in his views, and we sometimes we have, and I'm more of a yeah. We have heated political debates in this crib, yo. yeah. Yo, this is um, that's yeah, what this man. Is. I don't really get too political, man. I, I, I really don't, but yo, we are very different. We're very different uh-huh. in our views, but the fact is, we both like shooting guns. I mean, even I like shooting right. guns, but I have my own thoughts about um gun gun rights or, or or even the gun laws and restrictions and he has his own views on it and we actually really differ in a lot of ways but that doesn't mean yeah. that we both don't love shooting guns and owning firearms you know what i mean right. so it's it's just that the whole idea that it's not just one dimensional we're all multifaceted people and we all just happen to enjoy that as just as one small aspect of who we are and, right. and, that's and really it's so many fun. go ahead yeah, no, I was just saying it's so many ways to, you know, really no matter what kind of community or what kind of other things you do, a lot of times the gun aren't always the the forefront. You know, you are a gun owner because for whatever reason, but you're just living your life. You know what I mean? Like you say, it's, it's so many other things that you may have going on. Maybe your family, maybe your business, maybe your career. You know, maybe whatever, but you know, you just have this firearm. That's just one part of, you know, what you do. And so many people just really have it just for self defense. You know, that it's not. Or oh, they can't know. understand that a person has 20, 30 goddamn guns for. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> the only thing they know is self defense. And like people ask me, is like, damn, 
You going to war? Nah, it's just this is for this and this is for this. Or oh, this is shit just because the shit is dope. <laughs> right. Right. Like if people don't understand, yeah, like you could have a rifle for your defense. You could have a rifle for plinking. You could have a rifle for, you know, actually hunting. You know, you could have a rifle that's just a. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, I got a list of, of movie guns that I want just because they were in my favorite movies. You know what I mean? Like, it's no practical purpose. Yeah. This is America, and then we can have this. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you, you can, and there's not, nothing wrong with it. So it's just like... And we had another live about that, right? A reason. If you need a right, writer, you need a reason. You know? But yeah, but we, we're going to talk about it. I'm just trying to build up trying to get my studio built out if my daughter stay out of here. I'm trying to get my own private space in my own house. And they, won't <laughs> let me, they won't let me have it. She, I they got my they love light you box, too much right? to leave you alone. I got my light box, right? I bought these light mm -hmm. boxes. I'm about to get my camera set up, get my little home studio popping, right? Yeah. And my daughter in here just peeling my little shit back, knocking my shit over. My <laughs> she just, yo, Having a you know, good old, she was having a party in here, bro. It is a little <laughs> I can't have no space to my little teeny self. Hey, she's so, gonna, it's like a, <laughs> she's just gonna put a mark on everything. Yeah. And this one too. <laughs> yeah. This one too. I, I got me, you know. I hear you talked about me, about me loving numbers and shit. I love everything in numbers. Look. <laughs> I can't have a conversation. You ever, yo, secret agent? They don't even need bugs. You know how they put the bugs in the phone? They don't even <laughs> hear it. She gonna tell it off. I could be all the way across somewhere in the house. I hear his ass because he talks so loud. Oh my! Really <laughs> well, you must. Like over, I hear you. Oh talk my so God, man. Yeah, then you like me, bro. My daddy told me I grew. I learned how to whisper in a sawmill. <laughs> Like, I got to be loud all the time for no reason. You can just whisper and sometimes I'm like, shh. Everybody can hear you. you know yeah, my lady's mean? always, don't let us be in public. And, I, you know, you be people watching and talking talk mm -hmm. shit on the low. But I don't be on the low. I just be regular volume. Just oh, well, <laughs> the people be right there. Yeah, the people be right there. I just be talking mad shit. All the downstairs in the kitchen and he's outside in the backyard to chat him. And I can hear every single word. That's how loud he is. I'm like, you have to hear every single word that you're saying, right? And I'm all the way in the kitchen, and he's all the way in the backyard, two, two levels yeah. down, and I can hear every single word he's saying. And I'm not even eavesdropping. <laughs> I'm not even trying to listen. I'm not eavesdropping. He's just that loud. Yeah. Yeah, my lady get mad at me because, you know, I had put her on. We start using the electronic ear pro when we go to the range, but mm -hmm. I'm still trying to get used to it. She said, you still be yelling. I might as well just wear the regular, regular ear pro. Well, you got the electric stuff, and now it's all loud in my ear. Like, it's, you yelling anyway. Like. Fridge. Fridge, I got a question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that range I go to, what's that's the uh, local thing? So, I mean, I kind of visit ranges all over the, the uh, like, metro Atlanta area. Uh -huh. I go a little bit out into Alabama. Um, I really like the uh, um, CMP, Civilian mm -hmm. Marksmanship Program, has mm -hmm. a really dope, like, range uh, in Talladega, Alabama. Mm -hmm. But um, I do have uh, Quick Shots of Atlanta is, uh, is my local indoor range that I go to. Uh -huh. But, okay. you know, I, I, I'm just all over, so you know. I was, like, I was like one of the ranges you was at when I was checking your thing out on on the ground. It's like that's a uh, nice damn range, man. Yeah, more than likely it was it was quick shots, uh, which is where I go to most often. Uh -huh. But I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm a little bit of a range snob, so I uh, I, I yeah. tend to visit a little bit all over. Um, I'm a big proponent of a uh, good customer service, a good, clean, well lit, well ventilated, you know, indoor range. Uh -huh. But um, that's part of kind of like, like what I kind of consider my job as a two way person here in Atlanta. So uh, I want to be the guy in Atlanta that you can come to and just, you know, if you got questions about certain places or where to get certain things, you know, mm -hmm. kind of be that plug. So I just try to 
you know, get out and go and visit. Some are everywhere. So, you yeah. know. My man, uh, I don't What's know if you ever seen him in the chat. What's My man, Bolt Vote, right? You ever seen Bolt Vote 400 two on it? What's up, 2A uh -huh. Oh, Bolt Vote 400. He was at the meetup, too. I met him at the meetup. We got Okay. Man, there'll be so many people at these meetups, bro, that I like you get home and be like, hold on, how am I in this person's video? And I ain't never even seen this person before. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Or like they be at these events and you don't know until you 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 know when you shot the you shot the 50, the 50 cal on the on the rifle side when we was over there. Nah, nah, I didn't even make it to cause because I think you and and the Ewans was down on the rifle side. I got stuck right yeah. there by Twister. How really is that? You know, uh, what's your name, man? Because you and Peanut, y'all brothers or something, man. Y'all cousins. You okay. Y'all cousins. <laughs> I be walking past one of y'all, man. I be thinking the other way. I was like, yo, it's like, cute. <laughs> Peanut, yo, y'all be, y'all be, and I did that too. You did that. Uh huh. <laughs> I think everybody got that doppelganger. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. they say. Everybody got that twin. Doppelganger, but y'all be in the same damn place. So anyway, right? Um, they uh, that's that. What's the name? But he 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 trying to put together like a, a remember like back in the southern days, the Green Book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to bring up like a Green Book for two way. I mean, that's a good idea, man. I mean, I've seen a couple of people that had certain versions of that. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but yeah, because the only the only other person I think um. My sister's keeper defense, um, Marcia. She, 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 she had one, but I think I think she's kind of going out of business, or yeah, I, I don't the know. The last yeah, I heard, she was kind of going out of business, but I mean, it's a good idea. When he came to me, I found hers and I sent it to him, you know, uh -huh. hers, you know but you know, his idea is a little bit more grander, okay, than what she had put together, but it's, it's it sounds good, and it's you know, it's a lot of times. You know, uh, you know this th this this thing with the two way is not is a heavy lift. Uh, personally, if you're doing it, but if you're doing it on the community side, it's an even bigger lift. Like you out mm -hmm. videos and you know promoting events and it, it's it's a heavy lift. So I see you know, um, and Cass and I have this discussion all the time. You know what I mean? about how you know they got youtubers and content creators and they spending all this money and we try to come up with different oh, ways yeah. we try to come up with different ways not just to increase revenue for ourselves but different ways mm -hmm. in which we can help other people in a community grow yeah and that's one thing that i i think we lack in, in the community in the african-american community period is that mm -hmm. financial support and i don't really know Believe like me, it is, you know, because it's lacking, and if it's lacking, that means it could be capitalized on. So we we're trying uh -huh. to figure out ways in which we can put something every single day. And you can probably ask anybody in this dag on chat who probably have uh -huh. a channel that I've probably been talking to, trying to figure out a way to make something happen. Whether it's finding ammunition sponsorship to starting teams, or whether it's right. uh, figuring out figuring out how to unify some training, and a lot of it is just a matter of getting money and. We have, we closing out the learning curve, you know uh -huh. what I mean, and you know, and we're learning as well, you know what I mean. Yeah, but yeah, that's like, the that's to me been the toughest it's part. It's only a matter of time before this shit happen, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I mean. Gordy Motown wasn't Motown wasn't formed overnight, you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean it was. It's right now. You know what I mean. We looking at it like probably four years in. The hustle uh -huh. just the hustle has just begun. Right. Yeah. For us, it's been two years. Mm -hmm. But I've seen since a okay. lot of the YouTubers and the people in a black two-way that has been at the forefront and been coming up grinding. It's probably been about four or five years that this transition, uh, -huh. uh even two years or the growth of the African American female and a black woman and women in general, the growth in the two-way community uh -huh. and and the uh the the prejudice or the other stuff that was in it that gap is closing uh -huh. already 
Definitely. No, because now they're realizing that, that they're our right. money is just as good as everybody else's. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, I think what it is, man, and that's just corporate America, bro. Like they see that trend, it's so they are just trying to. What you look like anymore? Now they're trying to capitalize on that dollar dollar bill, y'all. Even I'm looking right. at firearms. It was like classic firearms. They got them a black guy now, man. Right. I was looking at. I noticed that the other day. Like, where this random guy come from? Like. You know, is this was this somebody that was just like in the store? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you yeah, know, I but I ain't mad at him, but you know. I think he had a channel before. He had a dope oh, okay. in California. You know what I mean? It wasn't too much, it wasn't too little. You know what I mean? But I he got had you. A dope channel with a decent following. And yeah, know. I hope I hope he getting his his just dues, man. I heard I hear you know sometimes it's a little bit of that, you know what I mean, where it's like cool, bro. you know they cool. want you on the team, but you know they ain't trying to pay you like they're trying to pay everybody else. Like that that's that's a that's that's a paycheck, that's a job right there. He a retired mm -hmm. police officer, so yeah. that's his that's just his, his job. His He's getting all his right. but what I'm so saying, that's what's happening. You know, it, it's not. It's all good. It's all good with me. I love to see a motherfucker shine, whether you know, right? I mean, regardless of yeah, as long as he's not, you know, selling himself <laughs> out, man, or selling the culture. I hate to see that. You know, it, it is what but, it is, and he looked like he is pretty good representation for what it is. Former law enforcement, right. he's gonna pull that perspective of it. You know what I mean? Uh, people right. don't have to do much but be themselves. You know what I mean? If they were a snake before, right. they're gonna be snake again. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> they only make and I think we see a lot of that too. I think we yeah. see a lot of that too on the Instagram and YouTube on the you know influencer side. We see a lot of people that you know they put a cat they, they come up with a character and that's what they're presenting, you know what I'm saying? But I could tell like like myself and like I can tell with you guys, you just uh, being authentically yourself. Yeah. I love them all, man. Whatever worked for them, it worked for them. I love them. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. But you know what I mean? It, it, yeah, the shit funny. But it's still good, man. If you grinding on that shit, if, if, if you make a dollar or a penny. I don't know. Sometimes you show me some shit, I'll be laughing. I'll be laughing my head off. So that shit fake as fuck. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I mean? And it's just, you know. I think it's funny. I'll be watching. Everything it. has its face, man. Everything can't be so fucking right. serious. Excuse me. Right, right, right. I mean, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. But, you know, yeah. I, I personally feel like it's a certain line that you shouldn't cross, you know, but. I, you know, to me, so as long as it's like, like as long as the person has a genuine, like interest in bettering the community, you know what I mean? Like I mean, I'm not really into somebody that's I'm just so like. Simple, I'm so simple. I was like, I don't even care. I, I, don't, I wouldn't even. I'm not care. I'm not even gonna go that far. What I'm gonna say is, mm -hmm. as long as somebody want to and better or empower themselves, that's the first mm -hmm. start. My father told me a long right. time, ago, right? He said, "You want? I always always used to talk this shit about. I want to change the world, change the world." He said, "How are you gonna change the world?" I said, "I got to think about it." He said, "The only way you're gonna change the world is by changing yourself first. You know what I mean? And that's the first step. You know what I mean? Because I know if somebody empower themselves, I'm not echoing. But yeah, bro, I think my I don't know if my headphones died. But I'm getting a phone call. Like it's going crazy yeah. over here, bro. But like I said, I just wanted to jump in and show some love, man." Uh, what up, man? What up, man? Yeah, oh, yeah. But uh, yeah. I'm going to go on and bounce out, man. We'll All catch right, you yeah, next next time. All right, take care. Take care. Thank you. What's up, Joe? You late ass. He's been on the... He was inside. He's on, I didn't know he was here. I saw him I saw him when I came in and he was here earlier. Word up, baby. But anybody else want to come in and talk a little bit of smack for a couple of minutes? Let me know. Drop a link, cat. Um, it's already there. This short. It's I'm gonna show it again. Just scroll up. It's in the chat. No, you gotta put it in there. Oh, Anybody want to come in? You be. I see you've been here. I had to scroll up a little bit. Cass had to scroll up. But yo, I I, I'm, I'm like 13 you. minutes out. I'm gonna go cut the lights off. And happy Veterans Day, Joe, and everybody that I didn't check. And two way syndicate. Joe. Happy Veterans Day. And uh. Yeah, I got my veterans two out for life up in the back. Move, cast. Yeah, switch flag when you switch. I switch um, flags. Yeah. I told you to use my laptop at the beginning, but you're so stubborn. Yours doesn't work. 
it works. It just doesn't charge. Well, apparently it don't work whenever you turn to come on. It always gives problems. Until nah, because this fat, this got a bigger battery. Okay. Still. Okay. Yeah. Happy you know, Veterans, Veterans Day, man. Happy Veterans Day, everybody. But the day's almost over. So. Mm hmm Tomorrow's Sunday. We're going to do tomorrow. Yo, we're going to do this. We're going to do this again. We're going to try to get light in here. And I'm going to be talking stuff because, yo, this shit, some of the stuff that I'm seeing on YouTube, right, is buffoonery. And if you're taking that shit, it's going to get you, you killed. Getting somebody hurt. You're going to get yourself hurt or you're going to hurt somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Buffoonery. If. I mean. I'm not even going to get into it. People be charging all this money for all that And people bullshit. are charging all of this money. You but know you what know I mean? What? Sometimes people that damn stuff, man, I even know better than what I mean, yo, yeah. please, 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 please be more conscious of what you're spending your money on and the shit you're putting inside your mind. You yeah, know what I mean? Real, be more People conscious. Think, but and just because you hear things no, a thousand, thousand times don't mean it's true. But it's these videos. People do make spoofs of them. You've seen that. Because they think that because it's ridiculous. They see people making spoofs of them. So the crazy somebody... thing is, right? We see the Detroit Detroit guy, right? He's showing some moves and shit. Some of his stuff is a little bit exaggerated, agree. But some of the stuff is is real, right? The Detroit Urban Survivor do. Some of the stuff that hey. he do is real. Some of it is a little suspect, right? Yeah. I'm not sure because I don't know Duke like that, right? Some of the stuff is really suspect, right? Some of the stuff is really real, but it's straight up cats out there that's not even giving you some of the stuff that's real. They selling you a bunch of bullshit. My and, Mike says you should always listen to your wife. I ain't right, listen to know. my wife. I ain't listen to nothing my wife say. Not a goddamn thing. Don't even tell me that shit. Don't even tell me that she got show me. I ain't listening to shit. I'm hard headed. Huh? I'm hard headed. What hell, are you talking about? I ain't listen to my wife. You crazy. You listen to your wife. Yeah, he's a smart man. He listens to his I wife. ain't listening to shit. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he's a smart, smart man than you. I might listen to it like, you know, after after a couple of thinking about it. I gotta think about it, I gotta process because we ain't in, we ain't on the same wave pattern. Yeah, mine is here, yours is here. Sometimes it takes a while to get up to here. Sometimes it takes a while to get up to here, and it's like this. We on Bye. yo, we on opposite goddamn we electricity out this bitch. You know what I mean? We on opposite daggone frequencies. So we just gotta meet at the phase. Yeah. No. But Joe, but to always bet your sources and teachers. Yo, it's too much information out here, and a lot of the information is combative information, right? There's two types of information that I personally have been seeing going around. One is combat, and the other one is technical, right? Combat is a total different purpose from anything that any everyday person is ever going to use unless shit really hit the fan, right? The technical stuff, it takes years and years and years to master. And that doesn't matter if it's just simple self-defense, uh, mortal combat like this, like this, or even defensive firearm training. Because there's a psychological aspect to it that everybody neglecting. This shit ain't just lean back on a car jack and boom, 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 or shoot a motherfucker from, uh, from uh, three yards. Boom, shoot it and target. It's not like that in real life. Anybody who's ever had a real fight in real life or engaged in real conflict or even had an argument that could have went wrong know how that shit worked. You know what I mean? So, the de-escalation... That's practical. You know what I mean? To just shutting the fuck up and just getting out of the way, that's practical. To identifying, to identifying uh situational awareness and identifying the threat before it happens. That's but that takes a little training. That itself takes training to the emotional intelligence, which which is a technical side that takes training. All of this boom, 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 shoot them up shit, it's gonna get you killed or somebody else hurt really fucking bad so just you know consider it before consider all aspects and all perspectives of it man 
it even is just like the karate shit when you ah, Bruce Lee and get your ass fucked up because it's, <laughs> it's, ah, you do that kung fu, that Jackie Chan shit. Well, Bruce Lee said, Bruce Lee, Gong Shang, mask your ass. Yeah. Your ass whoop. Try that shit for real. You know what I mean? So look for something, you know what I mean, that works for your particular situation. Do some research, man. Do some groundwork. Think about yourself. Think about your strengths. And because it's Two Alpha Life and this channel is all about empowerment, Cass taught me a concept called SWAT, right? That's and and that's next, the only that's thing. That's going to be my next book. You know what I mean? SWAT is something that you got to- SWAT yourself. Your personal and SWAT yourself. Not squat, shoot them up. SWAT. Recognize your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. Yo, life is a fucking business plan, bro. And run your life like a business because guess what? It's your business. <laughs> Ain't no business like your business. And if you not taking care of your business, and which is yourself, I don't know what to say, man. Empower yourself, man. Make your business profitable. All right. Uh, Mahala, man. Anybody want to say some shit? Drop in. You know what I mean? This is your last shot that I'm putting out because Cass don't want to dag on. Drop the link. I got the link You ain't dropped the link. You put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. You woke me up. What's so funny, Kingdom? Well, he said that a little while ago. That's 10 away. He said it a minute ago. A minute ago, what'd he say? You just want to go on. What'd he say, Kingdom? I know. You've you been saying goodbye like five times now. Because you know it's hard to say goodbye. <laughs> you don't have to say your word. What you? What's so funny, Kingdom? Yeah, I was sleeping when you woke me up. Ask me about the laptop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's so funny, Mike? Everybody laughing except for me. What they say up here? Because you keep on saying goodbye and ain't leave yet. Yo, what's the upper room technique, Joe Boy? What's the upper room technique? All right. Jova, what's the upper room technique? <laughs> yeah, they, they teaching that shit. Yo, they teaching cats to jump out. So instead of squat, well, two alpha life is going to try to present to the world, you know, over the next few years is SWAT. And that 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 takes this, not not this, not the gun. Not the muscles. This is this, man. You know, critical thinking and analysis, bro. <laughs> kingdom say, kingdom, kingdom say, you do more clothes than the preacher in church. <laughs> yo, you know I was supposed to be doing that, right? Yo, yo, all the all the prophets at the church used to tell me this boy gonna be a preacher. It's just a, you know, and well, that's, that's what, what I'm doing. Yo, that's this what, is my sermon. I'm, I'm I love the mic. Church called a Rasta Buddhism. <laughs> so he's practicing for his Rasta Buddhism church. And he's kind of no, nah, this is this is what I do. I, I love you know, I, I love this guy. I love you know, fellowship. You know, what I mean, I, I, I love I love fellowship, but I'm sure very seriously. Never ends. Look Jesus. at this. DC, DC money. money. Hey, DC money. DC money. What up? You home or you at work? I'm, I'm at home. Uh, okay, what up, money? All right. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, Real clear, man. Clear. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. I want to go leave you hanging. You ain't want to get off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's just dying with somebody else to come nah, on. I'm a, I'm a I was about to go leave his ass. You know? <laughs> <laughs> when Jesus when started screaming, I got into bed to call my I fell asleep right beside it, and he came by shouting, where's my laptop? Where's my laptop? I was inside sleeping. Oh, so, why am I? You go? What's so, we got you. We got your back. <laughs> Me and Joe Bob got you. We got you. <laughs> what the hell y'all even talking about? What's the upper deck? I don't even know. What's the upper room? The upper room. That, that's way above. That's that's way above your, your head. Up, yeah, that, that that's that shit that you're preaching on YouTube. The Kingdom way the fence, they have three more hours left in you. You're gonna go. To Mike, one of uh, you're gonna uh, go? DC money. I got a question, I right? Chase like you ever been? Week. You ever been in a physical altercation? Yes. Like, like shit. Yes. Right. 
Have you ever been jumped before? <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> How did that shit work? Zero contact and just run that back if you had a gun or if you had a gun and it was going on. Run that back. How did, how would that work? Honestly, just be, I got a gun now. I carry a gun now and I'm probably more likely to run away from a fight before I ever pull my No, nah, but I'm just saying though. I'm just saying for for, you know, just perspective. Run back and you got jumped before, right? That situation. From I, beginning, I, from how it started, from the beginning to the end. And the only thing you're adding to the situation is the firearm. Somebody would have died. And probably not the most intended person. The person that was supposed to be shot, it probably would have been somebody else, an innocent bystander. Nice. Why would you say? All right, so I give an example. So, um, and and you know, different neighborhoods. Y'all, y'all, y'all know you, you from you, y'all from New York. Um, right. You got basket. Y'all, y'all play basketball, neighborhood versus neighborhood. Right. So everybody get the teams together. And um, <clears throat> so one time in DC, we we were doing that. We're in a, where we could what never. You went to Dunbar, man. Say again. You went to Dunbar. Nah, I went to Phelps, but yo. I don't mess with them dumb broads. <laughs> That's what we call them. <laughs> I'm like, you playing, just playing, just playing. Go ahead, go ahead. But um, we um, I got into I got we got into a fight, and one of my uh, one of the guys from my neighborhood had a gun, and it jammed. I'm happy it jammed because he was going to shoot into the crowd, while he you know, and I'm the one in the middle of the crowd still fighting, mm-hmm. and because his gun jammed. It probably saved my life because I probably would have been the one to get one shot. shot. Well, you yeah. never know who that was. Right. So I probably, you know, in, in most cases, uh, when it comes to a lot of fights and stuff, people just go shooting and just, they get they get too ramped up. They get no, too I, I understand that, right? What yeah. I'm trying to ask is, right? Okay. I've been, I've been I've, you know, I've, you, know, you see how I talk all the time now, right? When I was in school, they couldn't stand me. No shit. Right? But they really couldn't do nothing to me because I had the biggest family in Brooklyn, bro. Shit. I had crew. So, so they, you know, a few have tried and had to find out on their own. <coughs> and I got I got jumped a few times. You know what I mean? I got I got jumped a few times. And uh, every time I get jumped, right, it was always close contact. It was always engagement whether it was physical and enga- uh verbal engagement it wasn't from 10 feet away the way the way our fellow firearm owners are training for the attack it was right. it was it was zero it was zero feet you know right. one to zero foot not enough to draw your firearm and get a solid secure shot not even an arm's length Okay, so there is a technique for that. It's called the bill drill. Yeah, and that's a what's that? That's like the push away. And so the bill drill is basically when you coming out from your holster, but keeping the gun like close to body and pulling what is the trigger. It's a soul. Soul. What is the soul? You only get six shots. It's like basically six shots in a certain amount of time. So it's like pulling out a holster and coming up with a short, a short draw, pow, 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 pow. It's just six shots from there. So it's like maybe it might be a block and it's pulling the trigger at the same time, or somebody's pushing away and they're able to do this, or they're going to the body at a close contact. Now, when you think about you doing that drill, right? Uh-huh. The build drill, right? When you're coming out doing your build drill. Measure your distance from your arm to your presentation. Less than two feet. But, like I said, I'm, I'm looking at. I, 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 I seriously thought about that. Two Mike. feet is a lot. Mike, two mm-hmm. feet is a lot. It is. Every confrontation I've been in, it's been shorter than two feet. Yeah, that's right. Cash is in your face like this, Mike. Look at me, like this. All up in your face, but uh, yeah, all but, up in your grill. Duh, I don't let anybody get that close. So, like, remember, like when you're young, you know, what I'm saying you in each other's face and you talking trash and y'all, you know, say, I'm, I was in a car. I was in a car auction in Cassie Tate. We were in a car auction, you know, what I mean, 
And I guess guy, my man was on his meds, yeah, off of his meds, man. Tell him how this dude came in there. He's picking a fight with everybody. He's picking a fight with everybody. Just like, walking up. Armo was was like, I opened the door for the gentleman. <laughs> I was just like, Cash, you strapped. Yo, I opened the door for the man. The man wanted to fight me. Yeah, and you know, I, just... I mean, because you know, my play, this is my play. My play is courteous all the time. I'm a courteous asshole. I that's my play, you know what I mean. Hey, how you doing? Let me open the door for you. You don't go by. You was just. You was I'm. I'm. Upset. I'm the pleasantry dude. The right? whole room was tense because he was just picking. And he up just created everybody. it, and he was like getting closer, just walking. And what do you do? You in a, a confined space, like you know. What I mean, am I supposed to leak at this motherfucker being a prick? Maybe he's trying to get the shit I'm trying to get in the auction. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, bully. Is that, is that a play? You don't know what the hell's going. So, am I supposed to leave because this motherfucker prick and we in inside? You know what I mean? And he just walking. It's like, all right. He was just trying to quick off highway everybody. Hey, that dude was off his meds, man. He weird. had a bad prescription. But I'm saying, at, it, there was points where he was less than a foot. At what point was he a threat? And at any time, he could have grabbed. What about the video you did, Cass? Did you never publish it? I did publish it. Cass did a video earlier. And it was talking physical, about physical physical conversation, physical self defense, right? And okay. it was some stuff on somebody, posted, especially young lady, somebody grabbing their hair and pulling like their hair three down. Clock or something. You know what I mean? It was late. It was late. She did it. Somebody pulling on her, uh, pulling on your hair, a uh, woman's hair, or uh, grabbing your clothes. You know what I mean? Or back in the days, remember how when we used to wear the goals and shit, they used to try to snatch your chain. <laughs> you gotta be snatch the chain and keep running. That's zero contact, bro. Or uh, uh, just stand you standing there in a confined space inside a building or something. You in a store, you know, just buying something at a counter or something like that, you or newsstand. You know, you know and you, you got two what? guys that just rolled you up on you wild. and right behind you. It's like, yo, ah, give me, yo, ah, give me a pack of dad going spare me gum. And he's like, damn. And then they just grab you. You just like. Excuse no, me. No, I remember. And they just no. you trying to go the other way, and they ago. just grab you and see the fear no. in you and beat the shit out of you. No, that's no. zero contact. One of the craziest examples. Also. But that's real shit that yeah. I've seen happen. Go ahead. One of the craziest examples. I spoke about it. Um, I saw it a few weeks ago. I don't. It, it went viral. It was a video of a man walking into a convenience store, and he pulled a he pulled his gun out to shoot somebody, and the guy in front of him was literally. Arm stands in front of him with a baby in his hand, and he not he went like this to push the guy gun away, push him out, and ran to the back of the store. And it went viral. It was a video that went viral, but it was kind of wild. I don't know if you saw it, but it went viral. He had a baby in his hand, a cigar in his mouth, and somehow he managed to block this guy, push him out, push him back out, or something, and ran to the back of the store. And he saw the guy pull his gun out. Like, literally, he stopped that, which was kind of wild. So Yo, I, I that was just perfect timing that nobody Most of the shot, physical confrontation that I've seen. he had I've a baby in his hand. It was wild. Most of the physical confrontation that escalated to violence, right? There's, again, there's senseless things that happen, like robberies from far away. That there is, there is a lot of collateral damage given that. But a lot of direct contact, when I'm talking about direct contact, that means direct contact threats towards you are usually up close and personal with zero. Always up close and personal. Unless, that, that unless guy, it's a fucking that guy, hit. That guy, that guy. Unless it's your baby mama, your baby mama sending the guy out to beat that ass. It's, even that was close. <laughs> yeah, that that looks like come to think, but that looked like one of That was ones. unnecessary. Nigel, yo, what about the guy? What about the guy who's who was screwing the other guy's wife? Nigel, you you messing with Nigel's wife? The Jamaican one. <laughs> no, that was funny. Where you pretend that he does disguises too? I do disguises too. Like you know what I mean? That was zero close. How do you even get to your strap? Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. A lot of classes, though. A lot of classes that educate. You know, when they're taking these training classes, they're giving scenarios, and they always put like a disclaimer in there saying that, hey. These are scenarios that possibly could happen, but not so likely. But they're just possibilities. And it still may not go down this way. This is the problem I'm having, Mike. And this is a continuous problem I'm having, right? Uh -huh. This training, right? 
yeah. that everybody's getting is is two types of training. There's combative training and there's technical training. The combative training is the shit from these motherfuckers coming from Iraq that have been fighting in the war for 20 fucking years. Yeah. That's because, that does not apply to this shit unless the world falls, unless America falls apart and shit hits the fan. Right? Those are the two scenarios that that shit could apply for anyway. The other part is the technical side. So the technical side is the USPCA and all of that other, tra- you know, all the general self-defense training. That training, that technical training, that shit was literally designed by police departments. So that's for more of civil defense than personal defense. Right. That's the side that I'm having fucking trouble with. There's no system, and I wish I could create one, that is applicable to the average everyday 70-year-old lady who just got her, who's exercising her goddamn right. What's stopping a, a goon from taking her gun? Her her technique and her situation awareness. So basically, a lot of times, a lot of the classes are telling you like, hey, you, you should be paying attention to your surroundings. Situation awareness is a technical skill. And I can tell you that 85, like I can see shit and you probably see shit. I know you see shit before. Everybody don't. I can say I used to say probably eighty five percent, but I'm p- tuning on to more ninety five percent. Can't won't see it. They, yo, most people in America, you got to think ninety percent of America never left the country. They don't even know what the world looked like. They haven't gone more than five blocks. You know, fifty percent of America never left their state or their tri state area. And but the only thing they know about the rest of the world is what the media feeds them. They're oblivious. So how you think they're going to be situation aware and they really don't know shit? Statistically. Well, I mean, if they know their area. And I can't, I can't. So situation awareness is overrated. If they're familiar, it only works. It, situation awareness only works in a in a situation or in an area where you're familiar. But I'm, I'm gonna. You better be in I'm your hometown. It does. Well, I'm, I'm always contradicting myself, but go ahead. No, you actually just threw some statistics out there saying that most people. I'm not really saying they correct know. statistics. I know, but you just throw some some out there. I'm just I said that some people don't even leave their vicinity, right? Yeah. They're always in a certain radius. Right. Therefore, you'd assume that if you're used to a certain area, then your awareness. That's the only way your situation awareness you, works. But then it would be okay then since if most people don't leave that area. So no, it's not familiar, okay. If you're familiar, this is what happens. Familiar, this just, is what I'm happens. Just saying you just contradicted yourself. No, <laughs> I'm explaining why. This is what happens. Right. West Virginia, right? Somebody born and raised in some hick town, Grant Drainsville, West Virginia, right? They born and raised there. They don't. They go to work, go home. They don't. Not familiar with the motherfucking opioid epidemic going on. They hear about it on TV. And when this person, when this hype comes up to them and be like, hey, give me a dollar, give me a dollar, give me a dollar. They was like, if you don't get out of my face and get a job, they're going to treat it like that. They ain't going to realize that this hype is a real fucking threat that will kill them to get high. Because there's a cultural, as there's an implicit bias aspect of that. Mm-hmm. That implicit bias it's making them naive because they know I'm born and raised here. I know everybody. He's like, yeah, you're Mary Lou's son. I'm not giving you shit. And Mary Lou's son ended up killing the ass. And th- it was a situation where did they identify? They didn't know the aspects of what a hype was or an opioid addict was or a crackhead was or the desperation of it was through their own implicit bias. They thought it was some shit on TV. Like only them crackheads in Baltimore kill each other for that shit. That it can't happen to them, even though they got the same problem, the same drug. I, I, but that's 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 just saying that's the lack of situation awareness because they're ignoring all the possibilities that could. One happen. of the things that go and that's all to say. One of the things that go into situation awareness that people neglect to learn is implicit bias. Their little shit that they set in their goddamn head blocks them. From seeing shit from that they should see it, from recognizing the real. The real yeah. So it makes the people fucking blind. 
Yeah, they don't expect that. It's making them block. So for real, for real. So that even closes the gap to 99% of America don't, I mean, they don't know what, they don't know what a threat is. The assumptions are they really don't. Their assumptions of a threat are not realistic. So situation awareness is a skill that needs to be trained, 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 and it's a bit a deeper psychological aspect to it. It's not just profiling. It's deeper. You know, things are out of place. It's probably not right. Disengage, engage, walk away. And that shit has to happen in fractions of a second. You should have. Yeah, but it's like right. a game. It's a game plan. Like, that capability, huh? It's also a game plan because, like, before I walk into in the middle of the night, I walk into this this gas station. Mm-hmm. I already got in my head like what I what I'm going to do to make it to the door. Once I get in the door, what I got to do to scan the actual, you know, scan the inside of that store. And how I'm going to move and which way I can move up and down the aisles and, you know, who's in the aisle, who's in the aisles. You know what I'm saying? Like you already got it before you get out your car. You already processing that. So you got to be like already well. You tripping. You go to 7-Eleven five times a day. I go 7-Eleven five times a day. I sit in the car, a guy going, I wash I swear, day, he goes to 7-Eleven by I know the routine. And he finishes the one drink and he goes again for another one drink. So anyway, right? <laughs> because my daughter drinks all my drinks. No, you just go. You know what I mean? Yeah, what I'm, not, I'm not even getting into that, right? So I buy one drink at a time. I'm buying in by one coffee and go back and go buy another one coffee. I, I buy one drink at a time, you know, because if I buy more than one, I'm not going to enjoy it. All right. Yeah, wasting <laughs> so, gas, that's what it is. So, anyway, anyway, right? I'm just sort of set, right? My situ- your your situation awareness may be more in depth through personal experience, but must understand that a lot of people don't have that experience, and there's a lot of implicit bias that's preventing them not to get that experience. And there's a lot of propaganda that may be squaring that experience to be they may perceive a threat as something that is absolutely not true. Like this dumbass kid that's making all the yo fuck you up did you do fuck you looking at that may be a threat to some people you see what i'm saying yeah and it really ain't and just some dumbass the name say nothing to them but they just walk into us looked at them boom that's the shit that causes more for that's the shit that causes a lot of uh a lot of cops civilian shootings and they supposed to have situational awareness like a motherfucker but that's they the whole don't. thing. I felt threatened. I felt threatened. Uh, you just made that shit up. It, it's not that they made it up. I, I truly believe some of them are really and honestly scared. But scared of what is what you ask? Scared of the information that they had, they received was wrong their entire life. Oh, I agree. Okay. I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that. That's, that's what it was. That's that's seriously I, they received bad information their entire life. So yo. that situation awareness thing is it's deep and it's 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 technical. I tell you today, today, uh a police officer, off-duty police officer came into the store. He had a sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. Blue, blue jeans, tennis shoes, and he had no belt on, no belt. But his holster was one of those holsters. He was he was appendix carrying, and he had one of them holsters that where that little strap like clip yeah, on. That strap thing. Yeah. yeah, and then and then you put the host connect the holster to that. Like uh-huh. it would be that for like sweatpants or gym shorts, right, right, right. One of them type things. But he had it on on jeans, and I could see the clips. And I'm sitting there like, oh, I see you got your EDC. I didn't know he was a police officer. I thought he was a regular civilian. And I was like, all right, I see you got your EDC. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like letting them know, like, hey, I know you got a gun. I -hmm. see you got a gun, even though it was it was covered up, but all I saw was the clips. And Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, I see you rocking your EDC today. What you working with? Because just to let him know, like, if I see you, I see you with a gun. Yeah, I see you with a gun, and now I see you reach for it. Oh, trust me, I'll take the gun. I'm sending your ass home. Mm-hmm. 
You ain't you ain't walking out of this place. Nah, you just had common courtesy. But for real, another thing you don't know that usually criminals don't have holsters. A lot of criminals don't have holsters. Yeah, they carry it in their pocket or some other shit. Yeah. Or 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 Hispanic or what they call it in the they appendix carry. Yeah, in the waist, man. Yeah, they'll just have it. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have holsters. That's that's something I'm looking for. Huh? That's something I'm always looking for. Whenever I see people walking around, if I see them with those little uh, shoulder bags, I see I see shoulder bags. I see certain certain clothes. I'm always looking for something that. What Joe Boss said. Say again. Oh, go ahead. I'm just looking at what Joe Boss said. But go ahead, finish, continue. Yeah, I'm so I'm always looking for some type of where I can. Uh, vaguely see a print i'm always looking for something women can get away with it i can't i can't always pick out them but for, for the guys i could pick them out too them bitches oh mexican carry oh yeah but well, damn yeah mexican. i'm not i was gonna say that but i ain't daggone yeah, this pc <laughs> i'm not like that you know, yeah, yeah. this is for real though for real i can tell right and it doesn't have anything that i can tell a woman Man, I know when when the situation is going left, and it's not. I don't even I, it's for real. For real, I don't even look at it as if if they're carrying or not. For real, it's just something that's out of place that just tells me go the other direction. Oh yeah, I'm always looking for <laughs> like say for instance, it's you in a room, and it's dot dot dot. All the dots are the fucking same, right? And there's one dot that's different, right? That's the dot that's the different one that's going to draw your attention, right? So I'm looking at the different one, and then the different one is like, it's erratic. So it's not only it's different, it's not behaving in the same order. So in like two seconds, it's like, boom, I'm out. Or boom, this bitch crazy, whether it's this woman or whatever. And it doesn't even matter if that, person especially that chick because chicks come with fucking problems bro it's a chick that she may not you know she may be with a hitter and he may not feel like doing nothing but she's the problem he's not but she can trigger him to be the problem you see what i'm saying and i see that shit a long way for when she start acting up about dumb shit she want him to respond and he'll push it off, and I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm just like, yeah, it's time to check this. It's time to go. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Like when a guy, uh, the little boy, shot the girl and uh, shot the dude for messing with his mother. I've seen that shit. I, I've seen situations like that, but with not so much with a little kid, where the nude is going off and the girl is, she's not saying that no instigating. So she knows about the pop ball. You know what I mean? Like, right. yo, I'm not what this guy's capable of, so I'm going to just be quiet and let him just go off being stupid. Instead of if she was with somebody, I know, for instance, if I was with a, a co-worker or anything and I'm going off on somebody over some dumb shit, a co-worker or, or something I know that's civilized was like, hey, you need to chill out or tap me or check me. You know, out of respect. That's a sense of respect. You know what I mean? But if that young lady that was with him just let him continuously go on, that was completely out of place, and it's time to get the fuck up out of there. Yeah, but it could have been she could have been afraid of him. You know what I'm saying? Like she could have been afraid. She might have thought that the argument was exciting. Well, let fear be the first telltale sign, bro. That's the first telltale sign. Yeah. Fear is the first telltale sign. The only thing, I, man, shit. The only thing I'm afraid of ain't that bad. What's up? What is going on? Armel DC. Up, huh? Hey, so I was listening to basically what you were saying about, you know, the uh the cops, right? Right. And some of them, like, at the end of the day, they might, you know, pop off and do something because of what they expected, but I always say that when it comes to situational awareness, because being aware of your surroundings buys you attention. Attention buys you time, and time buys you options. And a lot of times, 
when going on what you said, when somebody is in a uh, in an altercation, and it may come off to them like it may be some time for them to make something happen, and it really is not causing for that. They ain't being aware of their surroundings and using that attention that they got from being aware because being attentive to a situation just like you were saying is keeping you from maybe acting on something mm -hmm. that may not be that big of a deal for you to act on at that time so you know i think kind of you and dc are right in the same in the same aspect is sometimes you got to pay attention to everything so you can kind of you know get that situation detailed in your mind if something is going to pop up or not because you really never know Don't. Yeah, you don't. Still here. Give me a minute. Just trying to get stuff together. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, right. You really, you never know what's going to happen. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. But uh, T, uh, T, two way syndicate. This is what I'm saying, right? Situation yeah. awareness, right? I yeah. think it's <sighs> situation awareness, right? And that's back to what I was talking to DC Money about, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did he just he just drop out? Okay, okay. There you go. I'm trying to fix my camera. Leave me alone, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm technically I'm technologically challenged, bro. Yo, I know what I'm buying you for Christmas. I got a Christmas <laughs> gift coming your way, player. Nah, nah, don't worry about that. Don't worry, yo, yo. I'm not that fast, but I ain't slow either. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't that fast. I ain't that quick, but I ain't slow either, bro. But yo, check this, right? It's, I think, you know, I've been thinking about situational awareness, right? And I agree. But situational awareness, I think, come with experience. And I think it's a technical skill. I thought it was just like instinctual or something that was natural for everybody to have. But I'm learning that there's a lot of other things at play. And that's what I was just uh, discussing with DC Money. I'm learning that one of the things is implicit bias and i've been doing i've literally been doing a lot of research on this especially with uh police shootings like the common thing with the police were saying oh i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared who am i to fucking say that they wasn't scared for their life what do they what do you perceive as a threat that was never ever clarified regardless of your situational awareness Situation awareness is a matter of perception. Now, no. is perception real? Is perception reality? You see what I'm saying? Yep. And can you defend yourself in court against a perception? And you're not a cop. And you don't got the union and the whole team behind your ass. Right. So now, if you're a cop and you got the team and the union, and everybody behind you or you don't like some of them don't you know what i mean you may be able to pull that bullshit off but we're not that we're not in those kind of defensive combat situations shoot and move type things we in single contact or multiple contact single instance you see what i'm saying that type of situation you know what i mean and I can't see, I, I really can't see everybody doing it, ha I mean, naturally having that that technical skill. Because there's psychology involved. A lot of psychology, there's, like I said, one of them is implicit bias, is social psychology, economics, or even these... Mm -hmm. That shit in Maine, right? We you know, we got to bring it up, bro. This is just our male opinion, and I might be a comedian or something, right? And y'all can say what y'all want. I'm adding this shit up, right? Duke was fine, right? Duke break up with his girlfriend. Duke going through his stages with his hard breakup. It might have been his first piece of ass or some shit. I don't know, right? He, right. he falls apart. He goes to the uh, mental hospital. He falls apart, right? They give him some psychological drugs or some bullshit. 
and we all know these SSR, they dump you before they raise you up. These motherfuckers fucked up. They let him out in two weeks, knowing that it takes about six weeks for him to adapt to the medication, right? Let him go, hit the streets. Your, your motherfucking health insurance ran out. And this is the reality of America, right? Your health insurance ran out. You got to get the fuck up out. You know what I mean? You got to stay in home treatment. Hey, go see this doctor twice a week here, but you can't stay in here, right? He's sitting there sobbing, still calling ex-girl that caught him in a fucking jam up, fucked up in the head in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. This is Armel. This might, this may or may not really have happened. This is just Armel making shit up, right? right. And, and this is not true. This is just a scenario that I'm running in my head. Meanwhile, he goes to the doctor. The doctor says, yeah, 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 just keep taking the meditation. It's going to take a I'm hearing voices. I'm hearing voices. Yeah, just taking them. The voices will go away. Just relax. Just keep taking them. It's getting worse. Here we go. He's sitting there looking at the motherfucking AR. This bitch not answering the motherfucking texts or responding to the fall. He gets up and he's killing every motherfucking body. You see what I'm saying? Who yep. the fuck fault is that? Who the fuck let him out of the hospital on those drugs for one? Right. Right? I think the motherfucking doctor should go to jail for killing all those people too, because they shouldn't have let him out of the house. Whoever let him out of the hospital, fucking idiot. You know, well, you what I'm know at, at the at the end of the day, I mean, it's all gonna boil down to if you do have to, you know, engage somebody. If it's gonna be like I stay in Illinois, so you know, it, it, it's, it's one no of the worst anywhere. Whether you're legal I'll, or I'll, illegal, ain't no difference. If somebody you know, gets your ass. You got to do what you got to do. Right. I'm saying not not on that verse if it's, if it's more legal or illegal. I'm saying what you can get away with here and what you can't get away with here. If you if you do have to use your firearm in a situational awareness issue. Like, it's not what a lot of people don't talk about when they do talk about this or I'm have here. to I'm use, use your like use your your firearm in, in in a case or anything like that nobody really ever talks about the after effects like what it actually is going to do to you what it's actually going to do to your life what it's actually going to do to they your do family talk about it. yo you see uscca is selling insurance like hot cakes bro they talk about that bro Right yeah. to beer, yo, that shit was brilliant. That shit make me think I should have sold fucking insurance. That shit brilliant, bro. Yeah, yo, who the fuck ever thought of that? Yo, so, yeah. yo, that shit is brilliant, yo. Yo, that's yo. It don't even get me on the insurance racket, but <laughs> but yo, people thought about it, and they figured out how to make money off of that shit too. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, they, they did. Just we didn't think about that shit. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's not to to a lot of people it's not reality until after the fact, right? The mm -hmm. the the reality to most people is is is, is pulling and then using it in the self defense, but it's not really a reality to after the fact. Man, I didn't think all of this was going to happen. I don't know how many times I've heard that looking at some of the cases. Oh, I didn't know I was going to go to jail. Yep. Mm. Oh, I didn't know they was going to take my gun. I thought I was just going to shoot that motherfucker and go home. I didn't know yeah. I had to go through the system. I didn't so, know. You know, like, because I do a lot of uh, CCL classes, mm -hmm. right? And by the time people get out of my class, from the time that they started my class, the attitude is totally different. Because I harp so much on the after effects of it because people are always trying to find out when, when's the perfect time, can I, can I, can I, but they don't think about the after effects of when you do something. So I got a question. Go. Right. So when you do this class and your uh, C CPR in your first aid class, is that included in your uh, firearms class? Uh, did you say CPR? Yeah. And I'm, or the first aid or a CPR class, is that included with your firearm instruction? That is not included with the CCL class. That is included after that class. 
Oh, so it's a separate class that they have to take. It's a separate class that they have to take. I mean, we get curriculum here in Illinois that we have to teach. Get, granted, we can add our own, our own curriculum to it. Here, it has to be 16-hour class, right? Mm -hmm. So one day has to be on law. The other day has to be on, you know, firearm safety, storage, breakdown, cleaning, the whole nine, right? But even with that, they don't even have on our curriculum even holster drawing. Because most people will go and say, hey, I got my concealed carry, and they've never pulled a firearm from concealment. And half of them will get out there and go grab it. They got their CCL, get a holster, and shoot themselves in the damn leg. Or they get one of them, um, what do you call them, ink pen holsters? Yeah. What you call them things? They, them they, the Serpas. I don't know what the hell that is. The Serpa is. It's a goddamn thing that looked like a pin clip. Is that it? The Serpa? No, the, the Serpa is the one that uh, every people were shooting themselves on accident with because they would go to pull their firearm and it's got a little like it. Yeah, it's got that little thing right by the trigger and it would sometime engage the trigger and that mother would go off in the holster. Get out of here. But uh, is that the one with the button? Because I think I got one of them. Yeah, it's. um. Does it have I'm, a button? It, it, it's like right by the trigger. But I don't think it engages the trigger. I'm, I looked at it. Uh, the the serpa is now being outlawed in a lot in in, in some states because of it, and uh, a lot of people won't have them in their class because they're going off. The serpa uh, thing, if I'm thinking right, it's like a level. It's a, it's a level three retention holster, and it's an unlock release that you have to press the paddle on. Is that it? one? The, the, the serpa is a level two. Yeah, level two. Yeah, and and the lock mechanism is next to the trigger. So certain firearms, it's engaging the trigger when they're pulling it. Let me look it up, bro. Serpa holster. Serpa holsters. I think I got one. I, I looked at it because I was like suspicious of it, but that shit ain't nowhere near the trigger. It doesn't look like you had to be like literally stupid to do it. And that could happen to anything. I, I don't know. Yep, there it is. Look yep. up. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling. Yo, yo, in case y'all didn't know, I can't see very well. <laughs> in case I, I can't see very well, I have to have my own. I think I got one of these. I think they might have fixed them. These. And, and they, they could have fixed them by yeah. now. Yeah, that's it. Yes. They, they could have fixed it by now, but. You know, a lot, a lot of classes on. now, a lot of instructors are like, you can it have looked them. Like I was, I was, it was suspect because I heard about this thing, and I was like, I wonder if it's one of these, and I pressed it. And they ain't cheap fucking hosts either, bro. Nope. So I pressed the daggone thing. It's not even, it just, it's not on the trigger. It's on the trigger guard, actually, it locks. Not the trigger itself. Right, but it's getting, I don't know, I don't know what the exact malfunction of it is. But it's engaging some firearms. It's engaging them damn Glocks when they souped up ass triggers that they put the shit in. <laughs> motherfucker, motherfucker put motherfucker put two pound trigger in their goddamn CCW or they got them duty hosted. That's what, yo. Cats be doing too much, man. You can't you can't front, man. Face, face it, man. Yep. Cats doing too much. Yo, yo. My man DC Money got the canic with a one pound trigger, man. As the trigger wasn't good enough originally. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he just ain't got one and a half pound trigger, man. It wasn't That's good enough. That's not my carry. That's not my carry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo, he got defended. <laughs> but but DC, that, that's what you shoot USPSA with, though, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Nope. He got the canic with the one pound trigger in it. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. I not put that in those that thing, you, you breathe Whoa. on that damn thing too hard, the trigger going on, boy. No. <laughs> yeah, and yo, he, somebody left somebody's had a trigger like that. It's like, nice, I'm gonna put this on my carry and blow your goddamn leg off, bro. Yep, and they blame the shit on the host. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a block trigger, <laughs> and it just so happens that the trigger manufacturer got more money than the motherfucking host manufacturer. Yeah. The host manufacturer got a pet, but yo. I think that's a, that shit that I'm here. I don't believe everything I hear, man. But it's a, I it sound negligent as fuck, bro. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but, but but that's the thing, man. In teaching these classes, man, in the curriculum, 
the curriculum ain't, ain't even the best curriculum for somebody who is a new firearm owner that is going to get the, the carry license that the hostage draw is not part of the curriculum. I have to make that part of the curriculum. I got a question. Mm -hmm. I've heard of something about they trying to make like a, a national license, like a national concealed carry permit, right? And that's of course for a national curriculum. If you was the author of this curriculum, what would that look like? It's across state boards. Ooh, this is well, hypothetical situation. Well, we, this is our mouth bullshit it, right now. Right. <laughs> it, it, it's definitely going to be obviously holster. You got to be able to. Are oh, you think it would be a curriculum at all? Oh, it should be. Yeah, you. It, should, it should be like the, right, the holster ahead. should be part of that curriculum. The holster draw, right? Um, because a lot of people, and I remember when I first, and I don't know if you guys did, so it'll, here's a question for y'all too. When you first started carrying, did you carry with a safety or without? My first gun was a Glock 19, bro. Okay, so you was without DC. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, shit, the first one. Nah, the first one no, uh, no, it had no safety. All right, so and the one I carry now has a trigger safety. So, so, so most of the so most of the folks now that I'm training, they are even afraid because now everybody's carrying appendix and things like that. They're even afraid to do that. They want that. They want that extra safety now. I don't have a problem with the way anybody wants their firearm. That's up to them. But I always let them know that you got to train to what you have too, right? Because you think you're getting that mug out in some quick and you don't engage that safety. You know, that's it. So, you know, to answer your question, obviously it's going to be hosted draws, got to be part of the curriculum. The test, I don't know what kind of test they do in you guys' state as far as the uh the b27s right target we ain't got no test okay so we we got a test so it's a uh it's a firearms qual at the end you got to have at least 70 percent inside this uh b27s target right which is the real big one uh got the full figure and some of these people i i don't know you know where they where they're aiming at that and it's uh uh, five, seven, and ten yards that you that you gotta hit it in, right? So I think the test should be a little bit stricter. I think it should be more than seven. I mean, if you can't hit that mug and you taking that many shots at it, what if and, it's a seventy-two year old woman who never shot before? Well, then we need to be talking about what type of firearm she needs to have because people always say that a 22 won't do damage but i can give you statistics especially here in the city of chicago where a 22 done picked out a lot of big niggas you know what i'm saying yeah and so at they the didn't hear that snoop on the wire man hey i'm telling you <laughs> snoop telling on the wire you. said that yeah man it done put down a lot of people man so uh they we, we get under this thing because everything is brute force right we gorillas so we want 45 nah, we want man, i don't know you got a five seven, right? Who who got an FM five seven? You got both of y'all, right? How is that compared to a twenty two for an older person? I mean, there's not much. It, it's pretty much the same to me. It's really not that much. Okay, no. For an older person, right? right? Maximum penetration. Would you recommend that? No. Why? because it, it's not just going through a person it's going to continue to go yeah. so if little susie behind in the parking lot and she's letting it rip right um the next thing you know you got some people behind that that's going that's going to take that too with that maximum penetration even even with uh hollow points that's you can you can look that up on youtube man they do all kind of tests man with them uh ballistic gels them still going through even when it mushroom, they got a lot of power behind them, man. It's not, it don't. I mean, you put a lot more, you know, gunpowder in, in, in those than you are twenty two. I've shot them, man. It, it's like it, it, I can't terribly tell the difference in in the recoil and the action between that and the twenty two. Me personally, you know, what I mean, it's 
is really very is good, right? Yep. And but so I was like, hey, would I recommend it to an older person? Because I see, yo, for real, for real, the same way you say a 22 is deadly, bro. I seen people, yo, know, people in the neighborhood I grew up in, man. 50 Cent ain't got shit on them. I got shot nine times. That shit ain't, yo. Yeah. 50 Cent ain't got shit on them. I know people who got shot 20 yeah. times, bro. Yeah. And just in one sitting. Yeah. In one single sitting. Went to the hospital, came back up, shooting some more. They, yo, they had the wrong type of gun, bro. Where that's a I, yo for real. I don't even own a twenty-two, bro. I do. Correction. I got a takedown thingy. My grandfather's takedown thingy. That's it. And I ain't that shit in the box somewhere in the, in the bury in somewhere. Mm -hmm. But for real, I don't see so many people survive that, bro. I don't even want to even. <laughs> But it, it, I mean, it's it's the same thing though because I I, I know some people who uh, I see headshots. I seen cats with multiple headshots survive it, bro. It's fine. Let them survive. The point mm -hmm. is, long as they're not doing the craziness that they was doing, and keep coming back for it more, bro. Yeah. I don't want nobody coming back for me. <laughs> but they but you, you you talking about a different. Bro. I heard about that 22 shit making motherfuckers angry, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, I remember RGG used to always ask him, uh, would you stand in front of one? Right. Nope. Not by choice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't nobody want that smoke, man. And 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 the thing is, is we talking about a different demographic too, because at the same time, like you talking about killers, we talking about criminals, right? Mm -hmm. There's a difference. There's a difference. Like for the most part, even I don't know if you saw that new that new deal in uh, uh, California mm -hmm. when the guy was going to his house. Two dudes jumped the fence. The one of them came behind him, threw his hot cup of tea at him. That and it, it was it, it gave him enough time to be able to draw because the dude went back like that because the tea. It gave him enough time to draw and he started firing. Soon as he got, soon as he upped his thing, they started running them As criminals should. right they 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 criminals they they're using the firearm to intimidate you to get what they want off you this is another thing with situational awareness and i've noticed this too right it's two ways you can be this is what i noticed right and i noticed this from hanging out you know with the bro it's two ways you can be right where you can neutralize the threat two ways and none of these two ways are guaranteed you could be the most courteous nicest person or you could be the biggest fucking threat they ever seen yeah the most threatening most intimidating person those two are particularly hard targets so it's a matter of sometimes you don't even have to identify the the threat the threat just won't fuck with you you see what i'm saying yeah like this person is too innocent or this person is too much of a fucking problem you know what i mean the too much of a problem shit can really go the wrong fucking way because some people just don't got that that kind of scariness in them mm -hmm. and i know i don't you know, but I, you know, um, I know some gentlemen that that really huff and puff, and they really sweet guys. But they get on, they get out in the world, but they huff and puff. And they blow the house down, but they really sweet guys. And then you got the guys that are really courteous and really nice, but those guys are the real wolves. Well, let me tell you this to, hey, to hey, add to what you're saying. Huh? I'm gonna tell you this to add to what you're saying. When we talk about situational awareness, we usually only talking about on the defensive end, but the criminals have situational awareness too. And I'm going to tell you this as they an individual, food, food, food. You, this, like individual. you may not look scary to them. But if I got situational awareness and you look like you aware of me, 
I don't want that smoke because you might be the one that I might walk up yeah. on that might end my you day. You don't want to be food. Food, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be a food. You don't want to be food. Yep. So, so situational awareness is that other one. If you if you have that too, that is also a deterrent. If you're aware of your surroundings, I'm telling you right now because I think it's, a, um, it's awareness and acknowledgement of it. Yeah. So that's why I say courtesy is my weapon. Yep. So I acknowledge it. I address it. Hey, what's up? Like that's just letting me know that I see you. Right. So if you wear me, but that's the same as a threat or not a threat. Hey, what's up? How you doing? How you doing, T? Yeah. How you doing, Mike? How you respond is just as you, that's how I posture myself. Right. So it's but the people, same whether it's a threat or non-threat. The approach is absolutely the same. And this is a technique that I'll, that I'll use. You know what I mean? Yep. This is if I was a teacher class, I would be like, "Hey, how you doing? Always be courteous. Hey, how you doing? How they respond will address how you posture yourself." Yeah, be because their job is to get a drop on you. Hi, and yep. what the fuck is wrong with saying hi and smile? Hi, fuck you. Look. If it's a threat, it's going to immediately reveal itself. The yep. devil's going to reveal itself. You know, I'm instantaneous. It's, yeah, that shit is effective. You know what I mean? Yeah. Another way, right? And my brothers, you know, my brothers in the world do this. The fuck you looking at? The opposite. You know what I mean? It does the same exact thing. If it's a threat, it's going to it's going to posture itself up. If it's not, it's going to back itself down. It's or the same it thing. Like so that that wasn't be, even there. You can be pleasant or fucking rude. It's always the extreme, right? Yeah. Deal with things. And so I choose because I, I like to think that I'm a civilized person. So no matter where I am or no matter who I'm dealing with or no matter where I'm at, if I pull up to the gas station in D.C., you know, in Suitland with some bullshit in front of the chicken place at the strip mall and anybody hanging out there, when I get out of the car, I say, what's up to everybody? Yeah. Present. That's it. If somebody's a threat, fuck you talking to me for? Threat. Then I change the posture. That's how I posture myself. You know what I mean? And it ain't nothing but some shit that grandma done taught us. Speak to people when you see them. Yeah. That's the best got them. Because sometimes that technique is you can't immediately, like I said, by looking and profiling and prejudice, you know what I mean? That 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 you can make a mistake too easy. But by yeah. By physical and verbal confirmation, that threat is identified. That threat spoke for his fucking self. You see what I'm saying? And yep. I don't care if you're in Illinois, Florida, or motherfucking Germany. You know what I mean? If a motherfucker bark, a motherfucker can bite. That's it. That dog bite? Yeah. That dog bite? Yeah. Those big, those big Corsos bike boy. <laughs> nah, they, hey. they, they ain't doing nothing. The dog bites. I hey. <laughs> hear they, they say the dog don't bite and you end up getting your ass bit. Yeah. Oh, he, don't bite. Yo, he, 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 he don't, don't bite. He don't bite. He don't bite. He don't bite. He don't bite. Those boys bark. Them dogs, them dogs bark. Yeah. If the dogs bark. The dogs bite. Yep. If they, if they bark, they bite, bro. So. But hey, man. Mm -hmm. I uh I appreciate you having me on here, man. I know I got out a little late. I got to get up. Hey, I got man, a USPSA you know, in the morning. You know, this is my life, man. This is my personal sanctuary. Hey, you got you got to start shooting some USPSA events, man. Thank you. He been, he been telling me that shit. You know I can't see, right? You know I'm blind in both eyes, right? I have What's to that? have. I I legally have to have. I legally have to have, right? 
You know how some people could drive without the without glasses or contacts? Mm-hmm. I have to have two sets of glasses in the car at all times. So how are you seeing targets when you go to the range? It's a long story. I'll tell you about it another day. <laughs> but right. that, that, that's gonna be another live. How yo, our male sees targets. Huh? That's gonna be nah. another live. How our male sees targets. I see the I see the I got contacts, man. See, there right. we go. But for real, but that shit don't help. This is the thing, right? That's a whole nother live. Yo, you know um Michiko? Mm-hmm. He's, he has a YouTube channel, dude, blind as fuck, man. Got an ill ass gun collection, man. Check out his video. You seen it, right? You got the AKs and stuff, y'all follow. Yeah, the sickest shit you ever see, man. All the cigs, all the fuck. Oh my god, man. Blind <laughs> as a bat. <laughs> blind as a bat. Should blind people have guns? Should everybody should have guns? Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody. Yeah. But anyway, but that's a long story. They got get his blind ass dude. Anyway, but I'm um go out DC money. I'm gonna holler at you, man. I'm gonna go um wake my wife back up. Hey DC, get him, man. Get him on this USPSA, man. I'm not. Uh, yo, he trying to get me to go to Pennsylvania and go shoot with motherfucking blacksmith and them. Um, I'm dudes Gucci gun and ass shooting like a motherfucker. Laser beam guns. <laughs> yo, man, they they some of the. I'm telling you, coolest people in the world. Nobody would sit there and talk bad to you. They're gonna sit there and help you. It's 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 worth it. It's a big you know, I pull out one of those goddamn Excalibur goddamn guns. I'll be looking at the gun so goddamn hard I can't even shoot. He Damn. got that work, boy. Oh it's my right. god. I, I said all that to the first time I went, man. You just got nah, you gotta let me get, tell you, you let me try. Tell you. I, I'll go with, I'll go, I'll go USPCA shoot when you get on the east coast, man, into the free country. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's the that's the deal. You come out, you come out here, man, and and I and I'll go and DC money will take us out to 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 the spots. Yo, hey, as, long, as long as you got a job lined up for me, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, got for a weekend, man. I can't guarantee you no know, information like that, man. Yeah, see, but yo, it ain't yo. You know how much people hiring around here? We got we don't have a job short. We got an employee shortage around here, bro. We got I'm, I'm you know I mean? six then. figure job, yo, six figure jobs out there that they can't fill. I'm gonna have to check that out then. This area is nuts. They can't, yo, Target is that going speed the gas station sheets pay twenty dollars an hour, right? And they always fucking hiring. Okay. I, I I can vouch for that. You can pay somebody twenty dollars an hour and still not get good, good quality for twenty bucks an hour for a cashier. I can vouch for that. Man, yo, there's jobs here, hundred thousand six figure jobs here that's constantly going unfilled. Hey, I might have to look at that then. It's I bad I here. Out out of here. It's but bad. Yeah. We can come to we can go to Illinois. I want to come to Illinois and shoot, so we can do. A Mar- yo, Mar- yo, look at Maryland is so official. Maryland has you have to post the salaries range for the job in Maryland in order to post the job at. That's some ill shit. You have to post what you paying your range in order to open up the uh, the job posting if it's in Maryland. All right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm get on there. Yeah, I, I, got, I got my three year plan in Illinois, and then I'm out of here. Shit, that shit might not exist in three years. Hey, probably probably won't. <laughs> yeah. Three years, three years, I'll be homesteading like a cowboy and shit, man. Yeah, man, you know how that's, you know how fast that's three what I mean. Three now? years, man. Shit, that's the I'll way be I'll be riding horses on the motherfucking what's the cowboy song name? Cass got me listening to all this country music, girl. <laughs> it's it's um, it's like African Americans, but they sing country music. Oh, it's dope as fuck. Yeah, it's dope as fuck. But she got me listening to this crap, man. That and Beanie Man, Beanie Man new album. But she got me listening to um, one of the guys is from Virginia actually. But he dope as fuck. I'm like, damn. But we just been listening to country music, so I'm thinking about the Cowboys. But I'm gonna be riding my donkey and shit. 
in three years, man. Hopefully. Most likely, not even hopefully, most likely. Let me ride hey, man, in my I, I got the three years. Old old to get out of here. But uh man, good talking to you, fellas, man. I'll yeah. see you again. Wish yeah, you come love. on down. You just gotta come down, check it out for the weekend. With uh oh, you know my man got them dope shit. Kingdom come down here from Ohio every once in a while. Okay. He got, he got them atlases and all of that stuff. And he come down, just come down and we go do something, man. He know all the USPC DC money, know all the USPCA stuff. Hey, I'll be down there to shoot with you. Yeah, yeah. Just, just come yeah. down for the weekend, man. That's all. You, you. Might not, you might not like it. It may be too much freedom for you. Hey, that's all I need. It may be too much. And, and, and Mar- you get down to Maryland, it's like this. The laws is kind of like Illinois, but but nobody says anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> nobody. He's like they say the law is this, but nobody even cares. Nobody pays attention. Yeah, this definitely. Ain't, you might not hey. like it though, man. Hey, I, I need that freedom, man. Too much congestion out here, man. You might not like it, man. Um, if you go to Virginia, you ain't got to worry about nothing. They, you can get any and everything. No. Virginia don't even bring that shit up, man. And we got a split legislature. Democrats don't bring it up. Republicans don't bring it up. It's not hey, even. That's, that, that's what, that, about that'd, be, that'd be where I need to be then. Yeah, no. that's the lovely side. Maryland ain't, Maryland ain't that bad. It's just a strange place. That where they say one thing and do the other. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a strange place, man. Maryland yeah. like New York. Few restrictions. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, all right, brothers, man. Y'all take all right, it easy. Good night, everybody. I'm going to end this live. Work good night. Me. Joe Va, be easy, brother. Fellas, yeah. you have an awesome night. Good night. Joe Va, he's the last man left. Later, DC.